<laughs> Hi, folks. <laughs> I'm Charles Drink. Wow. 50,000 comments <laughs> just popped up. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was just in her right before <laughs> we went live. That's why we're laughing because, you know, we never say anything stupid on this show. But we do have Mac Pierce, John Cousins, and uh, Pat H. And uh, Mac Pierce and uh, John Cousins and Pat H. And Mac Pierce and Pat H. And Mac Pierce and John Cousins. All right. So there's uh, I'm Charles Daring over here. So uh, you found me. So here's John Cousins. Where can people find you, sir? Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, Pat and Mac. How's it going? Uh, uh, you guys know where to find me. <laughs> well, uh, just in case. But, oh, and, and Larry's here, too. But if you guys want to tell all your friends, tell all your friends, besides the ones that are in the chat that we talk to all the time anyway, tell them they can go, go over here. What if I could scroll on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch and find us over there. Yeah, buddy. And everybody's favorite, something or another. Her over there. Thank you, thank you, John. <laughs> you pointed the wrong direction, John. But oh well, ladies and gentlemen. Herb, Herb, Herb. Herb this is the part where you talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mac, Larry, uh, Pat. Y'all can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Ninety percent of the time, I'm right here. Uh, up, baby. You don't find me anywhere. Pretty much. Herb Hooper or Herbert Hooper. You will find him. By golly. I am Charles Daring. I am not John Cousins or Herb Hooper. That's why y'all are mean to me. I don't know where Billy is or any of them other sane individuals. And uh, But here we are. I woke up to pee and here we be. There's a song. You're welcome. There's eight people watching. If you have any comments or questions. Even if they're a beginner, they're, those are encouraged. Uh, feel free to do so. And uh, I figured, what the hell? I haven't cut the specific perimeter. I roughly cut the perimeter, reduce the size of the wood. But I'm going to start by cutting the perimeter, and then we'll get to the interior stuff. Perimeter means the outside for you, idiots. Good uh, and, yep, yep, yep. So we got John Cousins here, the snow Mexican. What if I could? Herb Hooper, which is Herb Hooper. Or Herbert Hooper. I'm Charles Daring or the Charles Daring or something. Uh, background noise loud. Uh, it's somewhat noticeable. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Him. And now that we're live, John's gonna stay real quiet. Shh. Sorry. Well, thank you, eight folks, for being here. Let's take us a drink and then get going. We have a little game here. If I break a blade, you take a drink. It's so, never. So are, you, are you starting with the circumference or the perimeter? Yes. So I said. You said circumference. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a perimeter. Yeah, Don't confuse the viewers. <laughs> Hello, I'm Leonard Davis. Hello, Leonard Davis. And sometimes we make Charles choke on his food. Hi, Lenny. They never make me choke on my food, but they have made me choke on my Dr. Pepper. I'm sorry. I was looking at food. It's all good. But they are trying to kill me. I do need witnesses, so y'all stick around a little bit. All right. We're nowhere near 18 minutes. So how are we going to start? I'm just kidding. We are uh, we got nine people watching out for you. Steve Dave Helms ain't here yet. Go ahead. Dave, Dave Helmonson's in the chat. Hello, Mr. Helmonson. Let me get a six pack today. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's your show. You read sorry. the chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't have yourself on full screen though. Why not? Then you can't you because then you can't read the chat. Well yeah, but then I stole your job from you and I didn't mean to, and I'm really sorry. And Steve Nealon, hashtag right back at you. Hardnailmedia.com, one of my sponsors. He does woodenvisions.com. He'll eventually be doing John and Herb's sites. He does Billy Burt Sr.'s site. He does all kinds of sites. Hardnailmedia.com. Okay, I have a question for you. You're welcome. Go ahead. <clears throat> when you do 
stuff like you're doing tonight, do you really like doing those in ovals? I like doing <coughs> what I call 3D ovals, where like tongues, most most of the time it ain't tongues, but the tongue, I like doing stuff sticking out of an oval. It kind of adds a, a dim three-dimensional, it's non-traditional in my opinion. I like doing ovals or circles or whatever the case may be, but I'm not opposed to rectangles. Yeah, it's more more characteristic to your style. So, eh, I hope that answered your question, Herb. I don't always get to the answer very quickly. If you didn't want it outside, then you can always scale it down and just have it on the inside if you want. Yeah, yeah. I usually, I usually have already had the pattern done, and I eventually go back and do a version that has the oval in it. Most times, the oval is an outline. Every now and then, there's a solid oval like this or a combination of both, solid and outline. Okay. It always, it's always the front of the subject that is sticking out. Or, you know, if it's an animal or a person, I don't think I've ever done it to a person, possibly, but the animal front is always sticking out, and so are their ears and their neck or whatever is usually inside the oval. Go ahead, Herb. Okay, I was just kind of curious. It makes All it right. look like he's sticking his head through a hole. Uh -huh. That, too. I, I have a couple horse, I have quite a few horse patterns and ovals, and some of those I've at least one of them I've made to look like it's looking through a hole, so I narrowed the oval like it's sticking its head through a hole. Just saying. And I know it's only been uh, five and a half minutes, but here we are, or six and a half. I can't tell from here. Nothing wrong with your eyes. There's This is not a rubber upper arm. It's just shutter speed difference. We are using a 22-inch Hagner, quarter-inch, I don't know what kind of wood. Uh... What else do I usually say? Number five, flat into spirals. By Flying Dutchman. I buy them at Wooden Teddy Bear. I am not sponsored by any of them. Wouldn't bother me in the least to be, but I'm not. What's the throw depth on that again? Who, what, what, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20. <laughs> I almost forgot. Thank you. Uh, 22 inch. <laughs> that um, that's an odd size. Like, why 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 they choose 22 instead of 21? Like everybody else, they might have just. Uh, well, it's actually been around a while. They might have just made it and say, okay, somebody measure that so we can advertise the size of it. I have no idea. Because <laughs> when 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 you mentioned that last night, I actually measured mine, and from my my blade entry, like the center of my blade to the front edge of the inside of my throat is, is tw exactly dead on 21 inches. That means it's not false advertising, so that's good. Yeah. And I don't know why they cho chose 21 instead of 20. I guess things just work out that way. I'm kind of roughly doing this perimeter because I'm going to use a one-inch belt sander to uh, straighten up the line. I'm, not, I'm being a little bit sloppier than I should be since I'm right on the line, so... There you go. Uh, Leonard okay. Davis is asking. He says he's got he has a, he has a Dewalt. Sorry, but he wants a second machine to put in the basement because it's much warmer. Now he says there's an Excalibur 19 SD Precision scroll saw, probably mid mid to late 90s. It came up for about 190 bucks. And you know what, Leonard, I would buy that. And if you have anything, uh. Specific questions about that specific saw. Best person I know of in the community to ask is Ray Ray Seymour over at Seco. He works on Helix Calibers. Because the uh, if there's like, anything uh, we can't answer. Go yeah, ahead. just just telling you like brand new, they're twelve hundred bucks. So <laughs> as long as it still works, there's not a problem with it. Yep. And if it doesn't work, Ray Seymour can fix it or get you parts or tell you how to fix it. And I believe his shop guys are named Tim and Joe. Sure it's not Larry and Daryl and Daryl? No, it's Tim and Joe, I believe. Rockwall, Texas, I've been there one time. I thought it was going to be a gigantic mass-producing shop, but no, it's actually a pretty darn small shop. This is about as big as Dave Gatton, Dave Gatton's CNC shop. <laughs> I haven't really looked at Dave's CNC shop, so I can't compare. <laughs> but yeah, the building is virtually tiny. Because they have one little area, they assemble them and work on them if need be. 
and the front office where they display stuff and do business with you, and I don't know what they do with the rest of it. Leonard says it looks new. Yeah, if it looks new and he's close enough for you to drive out and test it, I would, I, I would, I would go take a look at it, honestly. Um, because, uh, like I said, mine, my X twenty one is 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 uh ten. It's about it's about ten years old right now. I had never had anything wrong with it. So, oh, sorry, except for my arm today, uh-huh. which, and I which, helped. Char- which Charles helped me fix. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, uh, I heard ninety bucks. That that's a hell of a deal. I, I'd actually buy as many as I could for it at that price. Hell yeah! For, real, for once, I helped John. There was something on Earth that John did not know. I helped him, and I have a well, video on my channel. If you can't get your arm on your saw to stay up, or can't get it to come down easily, watch that video. Go ahead. <laughs> I could have just googled it too. Damn it! Like Thanks said, for stealing my thunder. No, 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 but but it, it was great that you were here to help me. But like I said, it was it, it. I've never had anything wrong with my saw in ten years. Yeah. Yeah. All jokes aside, it, it's a pretty damn simple fix, and there's a area on your saw specifically made to fix that because you know these things need altering uh, adjusting every now and then. That's what we're here for to help one another. Yeah, and give each other hell, but mainly to help each other. Oh, so after our show today, um, I went inside, grabbed something to eat, and took a little bit of a nap there. Then my phone rings. I'm like, who the hell's calling me? And uh, so it's the boss. You off again tomorrow? I'm off again tomorrow. <laughs> hey! I kind of figured that was coming. He says, yeah, it says it's going to be like minus 40, 48 in the morning. I said, well, you know what that means. Do you get paid when you when you can't go in? I get paid regardless. Hell yeah, snow days, baby. Well, because I'm on uh, uh, part salary, part hourly. Yeah. How did, how does that work? Part salary, part salary. Uh, when am I well, out? because I got I I got a base pay that I get per month, whether I do work or not, and then I uh, every day I show up for my nine hour shift, I get paid for that as well. I want a job like well, I got a job like that. Y'all just don't pay me worth of new scrap. Well, see, basically the, uh, uh, the 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 base salary I get is because I go in when uh, he asks when he calls. I'm at the shop within eight minutes, right, to go yeah. do emer- emergency calls and stuff like that. And that's why, and because I got the responsibility of you know I got the uh, I got the company credit card, I got the company gas card, and so I basically have the run of the shop whenever I want to. Wow. I wish you lived closer. I'm, I'm, I don't want you thinking I like you, but the crap me, you and her would get into, my God. Well, that's why I don't want to live closer. <laughs> <laughs> it's out, no. Herb. No kidding. Leonard says uh, it's made in Canada, and it has a Delta motor on it. Yep, because all the uh, all the original Excaliburs made by General General International were made in Canada. <clears throat> Before I believe I, I I don't quote me on the date, I'm gonna say approximately 2013 was when they uh, closed down General International and shipped everything over to Japan or Taiwan. But now King 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 Industrial owns them now, so uh, the new King Industrial and King Canada scroll saws are similar but they're not the exact same as the Excaliburs used to be. Yep. But if you can get a hold of a purple, a purple Excalibur, you know that's like one of the original ones. And if it yep. still runs, grab it. Grab but I had one about it was purple. It was a 30 inch. Never did use it, so I sold it to Russ Clarity. See and I know uh, uh, Jeff Murray lives down across the street across town there. He's got a uh, he's got an EX uh, sixteen and a twenty one, and I think he I think he has a Delta as well. <laughs> My first girl fall was a Delta, but he's like me. Like, but but be, be, because he has the extra scroll saws, he'll he'll start start a pattern on one, and then because he if he gets tired or bored of that one, he'll jump to the other one, and it's already set up ready to go for him anyway. So. I don't know how you can get tired and bored of a certain saw. 
no, no, no. It, 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 it's the pattern. The, like you just get tired of doing the same pattern. Oh, different project on a different saw. Yeah, yeah. All righty then. Whatever works for you, I guess. Was well, like me, right? <laughs> yeah, starting something. Yeah. It says you have eleven people watching. We are much black. If you have Through any it. comments or questions, please film throw them out in the chat. And uh we'll What's try to answer it. Sure. <laughs> Not yet, John. Go ahead, Herb. I done messed up how I was gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn much. We'll try and answer. If we can, if we don't know the answer, we'll find the answer for you. I'll tell you where to look if we can't find it. Yeah, if you have any inquiries, oh. that's what I was looking for. Oh, uh, we're looking uh, official now. Since you stole that from my show. Some, well, I was trying to, you know, get it in the deal, but uh, somebody messed me up, and I. Hey, brain for fart. Yep. Which one of y'all got something on Messenger? Was that the group chat or me or what? That was Probably me. you. No, I don't think me. I have my phone on me, do I? It was me. It was me. It, All right. It, it was I. We got Janet Gilmore and Shelly Morehouse and Billy and Russ Meadows in the group chat. Not a damn one of them here. But do we have any comments or questions? No, sir. Yeah, it was the last it. one. Our star is fading, fellows. Leonard, that 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 saw looks brand spanking new. Mac Pierce says. Uh, the important people are here, Charles. This is true. Hello, Shay. And Shay Hello. goes, I'm in the chat. Okay. I keep her bed here. Because I know her. She's probably cranking out some more orders. Well, she's doing that on John's show, too. If she gets on his panel, because he's dreamy. So, Leonard, I'm just looking that up right now, and apparently that says that's actually 1982. It's uh, the Somerville design was built in 19, uh, yeah, 1982. Somerville design, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's like the one right before General Instruments bought them out. General International. Uh, General yeah, Instruments. Yeah, sorry, sorry, General National. But, uh, yeah, uh, like, like uh, he sent me a picture of it. It, it, look, it looks brand spanking new. I can't no, zoom I, in. I can't zoom in enough to the motor, but it looks like uh, it looks like a quarter horse motor. Uh, you might just need to get a belt for that. That's about it. She said she's dyeing her hair. LOL. Oh God. Which hair? What color? Mac Pierce says, what color? Shay? Pink? Blue? Rainbow. You look good in blue hair. Jason Rogers is into the chat. Says, late to the show. You're fashionably late. Hello, Jason. Go ahead, Herb. Blade and wood. Blade. Number five, blended to spiral. Wood. Don't know. Quarter inch. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> we appreciate you. Yeah, quarter, quarter, quarter horsepower motor. So I thought. All right, now I'm gonna. At the end, or eventually, I'm gonna stand up to the line where I didn't get right at the uh, oval, but it's more like an oval now than a dodecahedron, whatever the hell that word is. That uh, John used the other day, trying to sound intelligent. So there's that. We have 10 people watching. We appreciate you. Y'all let, let me know if the, uh, excuse me, Snow Mexican. I'm trying to talk over here. Just kidding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, uh, uh, the hell was I talking about? Y'all let me know if the pixel goes to crap. 
Hopefully it won't. <sighs> okay. Dave Hellman says mystery wood. Yep, I honestly don't know what kind it is. It's a, uh, it's fibrous like a, uh, like Baltic birch, but it's not as bright as Baltic birch. It's got slight, slight bit of redness in it, and it's not Luan, Luan because I have Luan back there. That's red. This ain't. Just saying. Luan I usually use for backing or desperation material. And those black dots were for where I had brad nails, but then they wouldn't stay in. So apparently whatever wood this is, it doesn't like brad nails. So we're single stacking it. And I wanted on the record that Shaylee, I'm crushed that you're not on the panel, but that's fine. And, and if you have any questions or inquiries, please feel free to ask. I'm sure somebody can answer that if not here or on the panel. And we appreciate you. Big this time. message is brought to you by WoodenVisions.com. Thank you. Whatever what this says is relatively soft. It's weird. We didn't start the show with any weird poses or looks on our faces. We just started it by shushing her. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't even being derailing. He was just talking. And I was saying, you know, kind of like, shut your face. We want to look professional when we start. And then when we start, we don't look professional. So there's well, that. Well, Mac, maybe if we convince her good enough, she'll come on the panel after she's done with her hair. And Batman said he'll be there in a bit. Yay. Hello, Batman. Or is that in the group chat? It's in the group chat. <laughs> Batman. And stuff. I don't know if and stuff is in the the uh what you call it. But this is 19 and a quarter wide by 26 inches tall. I guess I could, uh, when my hand's not in there, it pulsates. The the picture does. No, it's still pulsating, ain't it? That's because it's, it's trying to focus on it. Yeah, I'm going to pull it in a little closer. That doesn't usually happen as much when I get in a little closer. This pattern is available on woodenvisions.com. Com, and that you'll find uh, that um, you'll see, you'll find a link directly to this pattern in the description of this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're not, somebody stolified it and moved it elsewhere. Unless it's like the year 2035, and people are just floating it to you through the air, and you catch it. Hey, that's the Charles Daring pattern. Like that on was, the interwebs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I'll be going through Facebook, and I'll be like, oh, oh wait, that's a Charles Daring design. Oh, but yeah, like like the one yesterday. It's, there's a lot of groups that people are posting your stuff in. Like, you know, oh, oh, like this is a Charles Deering design, blah, blah blah. But I tried to go on and and put put your name on there. You're not even in those groups. Well, dag blab it. <laughs> no. I thought I was in every scrolling group I knew about. No, you're not. I I couldn't even put you in. Why for not? Private groups. <clears throat> Dang it. Yeah, that there's a lot of groups that change to private over well, and there's a lot of groups that change to private over the holidays that I know of. Well, if you want to, you can link me to the groups, and then I can apply to join. Well, then I gotta find them again. Wow, I know one of them was the uh, Eddie Van Halen Young. Yeah, that's group. the one. That was that was cool, and uh, I wish he hadn't taken the photograph straight on because it can easily be stolen. But it was very nice. I ain't, I ain't gonna. Minimize that. Whoever's there waiting just a moment, I'm going to finish this shot. Okay, Jason Rogers says, Scroller Man, Scroller Man, does whatever a Scroller Man can. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Russ Meadows. Blister. Hello, <laughs> Blister. <laughs> That's accepting your title right there. I oh, man. You. You How y'all doing? Just spit blisters. You want to tell me where they can find you? Y'all can find me uh, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Rusty Nails with a Z Woodshop. 
You can find me here on Charles' show, John's show, Hobby and show. then Walmart parking lot. And Hobby show. <laughs> hmm. Every now and then he gets to talk on Hobby show, but he's mainly. Hobby show, every now <laughs> Only when he catches a breath, and that's not too often. Show sure, now. Yeah, but glad to have you here, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, oh, everybody. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Long comment pop up if one of you distinguished spellers wants to uh, partake of it. Uh, Steve says, hi, Russ. Hi. Oh, <laughs> Larry hi, says, hey there, Russ. Hi, uh, Lawrence. Larry. And then, and then Chris Nealon uh, says, there's very few people that can duplicate a Charles Deere in design. That is very true because I oh. try and I can't. Yay. That's, that's actually, I mean. I would uh, probably just add more detail to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can find a spot to put another yeah, there's, there's a couple <laughs> spots you can throw a few more hairs in there if you want to. I, well, it, you it, might need to put a little, a couple of holes in there for the whiskers. Is, yeah, I would throw of, some whiskers on them. It's kind of <laughs> neat to know that uh, that I'm recognizable. My my designs are recognizable. Even people they are like, to me. I'll tell you that. I appreciate it. Uh, and I really think that's mainly because I, I do them by hand because I can't control a mouse. So I uh, tend to have, yeah. for lack of a better word, I think it would be described as crisper edges and more mm -hmm. sharp detail rather than, I don't know. Crispy. That's my, yeah. Crispy critters. Crispy. <laughs> that went dark fast. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens on this show. We got. That was fun. Uh, that wasn't me. We have three Texans and a Snowmexican, which is a Canadian, on the panel. So ask any questions you have about Canada if you want three, the real answer. Three Texans and a Snowmexican. Yeah. There <laughs> you go. There's a, like there's a song in there somewhere. we got to get Sterling Davis' son, Austin, to write a rap. Oh, yeah. Well, I leave me out. I don't rap. <laughs> I can rap. I can fake it, yo. I'm not even going to attempt it. Nor am I. <laughs> Word to your mother. I, I'll do it if I got lyrics and a beat. You know what I'm saying? We'll drop that beat. Word. Oh, Lord. Real convincing, ain't it? No. That didn't sound real proud of you there, Russ. <laughs> oh, Lord. What the hell are you doing now? I'll be doing shaking my head if you could only see it. Ah. I sensed it. <laughs> Jason says he's the only guy. Oh, he's the guy that you see at Home Depot running to the register with the one piece of flat quarter inch after spending an hour checking every piece. <laughs> hey, I've done that. But I don't go to Home Depot. I go to the Big Blue. But uh, same thing. Every piece you pull out is crooked as a jaybird. I'll get. I'll go to whichever one's closest. But I think Lowe's is a little cheaper. Well, uh, they're they're cheaper for me because they're yeah. closer. Yeah, that's they, it. They give me the uh, the ten percent discount, but so does uh, Home Depot. For being old, no <sighs> veteran. No veteran. <sighs> Sorry. Now, the difference between the two of them is, uh, uh, Home Depot won't let you double dip. See, if you if you if it's on sale, you can't use the ten percent discount for veterans. Ugly, ugly. But uh, uh, the Big but Blue doesn't doesn't care. But you can use your 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 pension your your old age discount though. <laughs> your pension? <laughs> no, that's what it is. It's an old age pension. Yeah. Russ they won't did. read my comment. Hit too close to home. I'll read it. I'll read it. <laughs> I hear that Charles is working on see. a new design mm -hmm. of Russ's chest, putting the adult section <laughs> on his website. <laughs> I, I can't bring myself to look at the picture too long. Man, I, mean, I tell you, I wish you'd uh, edit that part of the show. Well, I would, <laughs> except for you done it on your own, and I didn't say, hey, show me your boobies. I'm going live. Well, yeah, go ahead and take that part out. You did it when your wife done it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have, my wife didn't do that. <laughs> what? what? I, I started what? talking, and I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant the hour and a half you took out. Yeah, because of smut. Yeah, well, what do you think that her. was? That was smut. Take it out. All right. All right. We'll eventually get your old saggy nipples out of there. We have. <laughs> they weren't that saggy. Well, okay, then we'll leave them. Okay, there's <laughs> your final answer. We have 13 people watching. We appreciate you. 
Well, she says she's dying film. the gray out of her hair to go back to natural brown. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead, Herb, after they shut up. I mean, I'm dying it my natural color. I have never even considered it. All right, and what were you saying, Herb, or did you forget again? I said, yeah, but you can edit that picture and put some tassels on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick. <laughs> put them little starfish that uh, uh, John. John put on the, in the group chat. <laughs> oh, oh, and I, I hate to say it. I'm sad to report, folks. I actually, uh, and I wish I was trying to be funny, but it, it's just a funny truth. I put on the stretch pants. And I actually look good in them, so I decided not to wear them because they're not tight enough to uh, to make it funny. So, alas, I cannot wear the stretch pants because it wouldn't be funny to y'all. Well, not a good point. One may not be funny to another. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Needham says, "There, show derailed. My job is done." Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I right before I took my nap, I tried on them stretch pants. Say, okay, what are these folks in for? And it's like, wait a minute, these actually look kind of good. What? Mm -mm -mm. I know, I know, it's hard being sexy, but every uh -oh. now and then it'll Mac, change. Mac it. Pierce gave me some uh, ammo, fish, I guess, to cover my uh, nippers with. <laughs> All right, well, they do that. <laughs> right. Thanks, Mac. Appreciate hey, it. Yeah. JJ needs in the house saying hi. Hello, hello. Hi. hello JJ. Hello, JJ. He uh he ordered my vehicle video. How to how to do virtually any vehicle at a scroll saw pattern. Thank you for that, JJ. I eventually made sure he got it. Hey, when did our Canadian J walk in the room? I didn't even see him. Well, there he is. About 10 minutes ago. I see that. <laughs> Mac Pierce says, anytime, Russ. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, dude? Hello, everybody. How, How you can people find your sexy behind? Sorry, Herb. People can find my sexy behind at Billy A. Burt Sr. on Facebook, The Messy Studio on Instagram, or The Messy Studio or Billy Burt on YouTube. And very often, right here. Yeah, buddy. Helping derail, and we wear that like a badge of honor. And Leonard Davis says, okay, guys, and lady, got to go. Have a good night all. You too, Leonard. See you later, dudes. Thank you. Guys. And a bunch yeah. of hi, Billy crap. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Your boyfriend's not here, Billy. He had spent time with his wife. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Now John, <laughs> now John has nobody's lick. Max says, uh, Billy, our favorite non-scroller would turn type dude. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> well, I would go seldom time scroller, not really non. I do. I have my use. I have my. I have used my little cheap ass scroll saw two or three times. And we're proud of you, Billy. Yep. <clears throat> Got up to pay. Couldn't sleep. Here we are. Or I could sleep again. Yep. And I, I was exhausted. I said, there's no way I can't fall back asleep. Then I said, you know what? Herb's probably crying. We better go live. <laughs> so I got out of bed, and here we are. Now about 3 in the morning, I'll be crying. I got up for everybody, and now I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Herb's asleep. <laughs> Well, if tonight's anything like the last two nights, I'll be waking up at three just to pee. <laughs> I'll just pee sitting here. Just saying. little joke there, folks. Don't break. Don't worry about it, folks. He's wearing Depends. Yep. Been wearing them for three weeks. They're pretty full. 
but it said for seven to nine pounds and i think we're only at nine or eight never mind that wasn't funny i didn't think it through sorry jason, jason oh, rogers man. asking what you're using on your holes weren't, weren't uh, you, heck, weren't you doing it, this when i went to bed last night yeah but i didn't do them all I, oh. I, I call it a nice pick. Some people call it an awl. I'm just doing it to create a bigger opening for the blade to find the pilot hole instead of these little tiny one sixteenth inch. Go ahead. That's a nice pick. Okay. Well, yeah, and, uh, I agree. All, all typically all. have shorter blades. Yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. Yeah. I'm pretty sure an awl is a little shorter. Well, every yeah. time I say yeah. it's a nice pick, somebody says, that's an awl. Well, no, it ain't. No, it's, fine. it's a nice I'm not, pick. I can argue with you on this one. Yeah. <laughs> not, not this one, but something else. We'll we'll find something to gripe about, won't we, baby? Well, Russ got the monkey off his back, and I see he's got a dog on it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She decided she didn't want to be nowhere but right here. Show now. Hello, Rusty. How you uh, doing, Billy? Herb was stroking his pup, 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 pet before we started the show. <laughs> The new he one or the other one? He was stroking uh, his what? Oh, I was it? combing <laughs> him. Oh, combing his pet cat. Yeah, he was stroking it. Yeah, stroking. Sorry, oh. it is what it is, folks. Yeah, that's Clarence Carter stroking. Yep, stroking to the left and stroking to the right. That's the one. Yep. See, I told you these animals around here are full. Hello, Jason. Jason Rickelhoff's in the house. Said hello, boys. Hello, Jason. Hello, Jason. He's been in the house, but he's just not saying hi to. Hello, Everybody. Jason. What? Hey. Christina oh, yeah, says, he has been in the house. Duh. He Christina said YouTube says, not working? Question mark. It's a fluffer. Says what? It's a oh. fluffer. What the heck is a yeah, fluffer? I weren't going to read that one. But really? It was something Rush. to do with porn. Rush, oh. you're, you're watching the wrong movies. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm watching the wrong movies because I know what a fluffer is. <laughs> I don't know what a fluffer is. <laughs> the fact that they uh, call it a fluffer is what's sad. But okay. What? Yes, Jason, he's on the backside right now, just to make it, like you were saying, just to make his holes open more, so to allow for the scroll saw blade to go through because he's a bottom feeder. Well, yeah. anybody that's seen that movie with Mark Wahlberg knows what a fluffer is. Yep. Which one? Magic Mike. The one where is Hooba Dooby. <laughs> um, uh, I can't remember the name. Magic Mike. Not the one where he played John. No, Hall. not Magic Mike. Uh, uh, I don't know about all that, boys. Oh crap! Start that pretty little blonde too. Um, not the one where he played John Holmes. Go to IMDb. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see that one. Or a Holmesish like character. Yes. Right. Yeah. It was supposed to be John Holmes. Where he had yeah. a very, very big plot line. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I had to use somewhere. a prosthetic. He must him be was, the protagonist. <laughs> him, him was extremely well endowed, as I mean, from what I understood. Yeah, 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 they made him a prosthetic. See, they don't want—they didn't want to see me in stretch pants, but they, they remember that part of that movie. Just saying. Actually, I think that was CGI, wasn't it? <laughs> so I'm thinking. Okay, I'm back. I, I'm. Uh, that might have been before CGI. It, it's pre. It was probably a prosthetic. I feel sorry for whoever had to put that prosthetic on. Jesus asking if you're still drilling freehand. I guess they're drill press. We're Dremel with a base. I don't think uh, he said it was that much feeling, John. I usually I usually, <laughs> I usually it, was, it was a long it was a long <laughs> sentence. There was no there was no commas in there, Jason. I, I, I usually use a scroller's drill, but when my plugs are all taken up, I use a cordless drill. I almost never use a uh, drill press, although I own one somewhere. I need my fluffer over here. John? Stop Take care of it. You guys are closer. You know, you know <laughs> what it means. <laughs> Look, they're all fighting to help me. That's so No, cool. no. Uh -uh. I'm fighting to get you some help and not, not help you. People have been trying to get me help for years. Come on. We need a PhD after our names to do that. We ain't got it. 
<laughs> Deadly do. The more we do, the more it looks like a uh, German Shepherd. It'll get to that point at some point. Don't you worry now. John, uh, Jason said uh, you, made, you made him feel really dramatic on that. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. In a world where, the, <laughs> where he had to deal with the idiots, <laughs> he managed to scroll on. Boogie and Nights. I still, got, I still got that dang That's song what stuck in my head. It was Boogie Nights. With that, was, that was the name of the movie. All right. I, I didn't ever see that one. Hey, no sunshine when she's gone. We'll bring her back. It's not warm when she's away. Who sings that? Bill Withers. Keep it that way. God, you and Billy both walked into it. That's a damn shame. <laughs> We're trying to provide free entertainment on our I know, 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 I got another song for you, Russ. Huh. The hourglass almost out. Oh, boy. You're welcome. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hey, you, you started it. I didn't. <laughs> like how Herb just, I know, right through all that babble that everybody else was doing. I know. I know. <laughs> There's a thing about that. Uh, that was uh, uh, a space filler that he yeah. intended to come back and, and change. But the producers of the song didn't want him to change it. Wanted him to leave it just like it was. That's why he left it. John Naves in the house saying hello, everyone. Hello, John. Hello, Jason John. Rogers said, I hope this doesn't end like Boogie Nights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rhinestone Cowboy. Huh? Like, like a rhinestone, rhinestone cowboy. cowboy. Riding out in a horse in a star-spangled star road rodeo. in the spandex pants. <laughs> <laughs> Where to kill the moon? Getting cards and letters from people, people I don't even know. know. I hate so, that song. So why ain't Charles wearing his spandex pants? I look too good in them. <laughs> Bull's tanky. I'm, I'm, Beauty I'm, is in the eye of the beholder, buddy. The beer holder. I was beer holder. <laughs> Now, Billy, I, I, I hate to say it, but that's why I didn't wear them. I look too good in them. I was going for humor, but they fit too good. They're not too tight. So, yeah, uh, contrary to popular belief, I'm kind of gorgeous. My God. Are you going to wear them with the skirt? Ooh. Oh, no, baby. When I wear that skirt, it's only the skirt. <laughs> oh, I want to see the skirt and the bra. Not the bra. That's a one-time deal. I don't have a skirt, though. My wife doesn't wear skirts. But if I can happen upon a skirt that's not being used at the time, which is illegal to take one while it's being used, um, I, I will wear it because that's what I do here. And I have no problem wearing a dress. We do it all for the people. <laughs> yeah. But if it's like the stretch pants and I look too good at it, I can't show you. I better Karen, shut up Karen, before I get banned. Karen, Karen, <laughs> Karen, with Karen threatened him with every half inch of his Caesar what's it if he ever touched her bra again. She told me where to find it, sir. <laughs> oh God. John Nave says skirt, bra, and knee high boots. <laughs> threatened me with my half inch. Man. I wish they'd have been tight. We wouldn't have had to guess no more. Just saying. <laughs> the beer assistant. And I was trying to get them to understand. They wanted me to put a bowl down there. That would have weighed the pants down and traumatized everybody. That's what would have been funny. It looked like you had to uh, mess yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not... I mean, it's, it's funny by default, but I wasn't trying to be funny, Billy. I actually... They didn't look funny enough, so I didn't wear them. Billy's eating chips again. Yeah, sweet potato chips this time. They're yummy. Not as yummy as me and stretch fans. Jason asked a question. Yes. Do you pull it up before you sit or flatten it out, asking for a friend? Uh. <laughs> Come on, answer it. 
Uh, <laughs> usually, if we don't know the answer, we'll try to find you one. Uh, Charles, usually, the, Charles, the proper answer is if you know how to tuck properly and use the proper tape, you don't have to worry about it. Well, I'm a manly man, so I don't tuck. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just move it out of the way. But there's one time I forgot, and that was today on John's show. Yes, Max, sweet potato chips. They are so good. John Dave says, I have this image of pretty woman, but with Charles's face. Dear God, help me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't be hating. <laughs> well, you talking about a skirt, hey. skirt and a bra. Hey, but, uh, hey you, you John bra, Richard Gere would like him like that, though. Y'all <laughs> talked about the bra. I did not. That would be inappropriate. Hell yeah, I'll wear a skirt, but ain't nobody I know got one. And ain't nobody I know would want it back if I borrowed it. <laughs> Go to your local Goodwill. <laughs> Saying you're doing it for the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My wife picked them up at Costco, Mac. They're good. Now, I've never had sweet potato chips. Me neither. They're supposed to be a hell of a lot better for you than french fries. And they're organic, she says. Yeah. That's how much Billy likes them. They're orgasmic. <laughs> I mean, organic. Sorry. it's We got 10 people watching. I'm plumb sorry if you're offended. But only a little bit because we have fun here. Chris is asking, <laughs> have you ever tried sweet potato tater tots? They're really good. I have not. I've had sweet potato fries. I'll be back in a little bit, fellas. Uh, all right. I've all right, had sweet taters. Hurry back, Herb. Jason says, I just see Charles doing the Marilyn Monroe on the street great with the woman. <laughs> on the Come on now. So that Get that skirt up, Charles. That, that was traumatizing. Y'all be, be careful what you wish for, baby. Just say it. <laughs> if the fire didn't destroy it, I'm sure my wife's got at least one dress out there. Q, Nick. Yeah. Oh, Nick. Nick, where you at? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, dress Marilyn up. Marilyn Monroe with Charles' face. Charles' face. Well, that's too predictable because you told him what to do. If he don't do it, Jamie Page will do it. <laughs> Jamie Page probably already has done it. <laughs> I Is look pretty good on that. Yeah, I'm guessing. <laughs> I uh, I look pretty good on that wrecking ball though. Not not next. God love it, but uh, Jamie Page did a wrecking ball version. And uh, uh, did you almost erp up your little sweet tater chips? Uh huh. Jason Rogers said, "Mac, that's just scary." I mean, Max said, Jason Rogers, that's just scary. I'll get the names right in a minute. Will you find out who your friends are? <laughs> I didn't hear one single thank you when I said I look too good in them sweatpants or uh, stretch pants to wear Oh, them. my God, Chris. Come on, Chris. Photoshop Russ's chest, Charles's bottom and stretch pants. Nope. Nope. I refuse to allow my image to be used in that fashion. That inspires them to use it, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you take it off. And I, I don't want to. No, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to chunk Russ, Russ under the bus here. I might look better in stretch pants than he does. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. I am not partaking. Chicken pooper. You're damn right. I will win. I will let you win hands down. Uh, Charles, yeah. you got to do the whole hello. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Pure entertainment and maturity on this here show, folks. We got 14 people watching. If you have any comments or questions, chuck them on out there, and we appreciate you. Apparently, I'm the only one to appreciate y'all. The same. We do. We, we have really a chance. Do. Full stank. Where's Steve? Hey, he's in New York. Yeah, ha, ha. <laughs> I sent him a link, baby. I don't know. He might be uh, uh, getting ready for bed. Yeah, that. We'll call it that. He's out. Well, he does have work. Yeah, some people still have to. Yep, but it was before eight p.m. when I sent him the link. Of course, that's nine p.m. his time, I believe. You know how them old people are. He's fifty. My oh, God. <laughs> he said duet. He said duel, John, not duet. <laughs> uh, 
They already had those uh, two guys in skin tie. They had Millie Vanilli. Of course, they were only a lip syncing. <laughs> yep. Girl, you know it's true. I love you. Yes, I knew the word. I was glad you did because I did. I just don't know what I should do. <laughs> That's pretty good. Right. That's pretty good. You, you, you sing it about as good as they ever did. That's why they had lip sync it. Yes, sir. I wear that like a badge of honor. Even though you're cutting me down, I'm pretending I don't know the difference. And here we are. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't I? I'm confuzzled. Welcome to my world. Blame it on the right. Oh. <laughs> Max, I'm having so much fun on Facebook. <laughs> What's he doing now? Uh -huh. That sounded guilty. <laughs> And in the interest of honesty, I did ask Matt to go ahead and delete that bra picture. It was not my proudest moment. You told him to leave it. Yeah, originally I did. And I got to look at it. <laughs> yeah. All I need, I run for president, and then that picture comes out. I'm kidding. Ain't no way I'm running for president. Oh, well, we'd vote for you, Charles. All right, panel, stay quiet. I see how it is. <clears throat> Blame it on the saw. Ooh. Why is my panel being so quiet? Oh, please stay quiet when I ask a question. What was it? Why is my panel being so quiet? <laughs> <laughs> John Nave is asking if you wanted the copy of the bra photo. <laughs> oh, I, I've got the video along with the rest of the internet. <laughs> <clears throat> But if I wear a skirt, by God, that, that one's going to go viral. Maybe not. Because <laughs> I'm quite sure I'm not the first man in the world to wear a skirt. No. That may come as a shock. Not even close. Yep. Off topic, size on this piece. Top to bottom. 30-ish range. 26 inches top to bottom. 19 and a quarter wide. So there you have it, Jason Rogers. Take off the tongue. It's a three inch tall piece. <laughs> little joke there. I thought it was funny. Thank you, sir. Steve Hart Niels. I mean, Steve, Hart -Niels. <laughs> Steve Nealon says he's got a copy. You sound like Cliff. Well, I don't, that don't surprise me in the least. Good Lord. Y'all miss me? Yes, sir. I didn't I miss me. I couldn't get Billy to stop crying. I know that's a lie. Billy helped me out here. Billy be laughing. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> what were I crying about? Her being gone. Oh. Well, there was a little truth to that. Aww. So there you go, Herb. Just saying. I wouldn't lie to you, buddy. Oh, okay. I'd severely stretch the truth, but I wouldn't lie. <laughs> Steve said, going to make it an Easter egg on the website. Oh, good, good. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That would be high freaking hilarious. Yeah, to you. 
But now Victoria's trying Victoria's Secret's trying to contact me for a sponsorship. Now I gotta wear lacy stuff every week. Uh, but I do it for the people. Just saying. I was gonna say, wouldn't that be something? Yes, sir. Of all and the my God, you do it too, you yep. attention whore. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Tampax. <laughs> 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 I, had to, I, I had to pull some strings to get that sponsorship. <laughs> I made a fine but, uh, ace. That's I got bloody, it too. That's bloody funny. Jason Rogers said, I'm always here for a good time, but your work is always amazing. Thank always you, inspirational to watch. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Happy to. Uh, I guess I'm allergic to compliments, but thank you. Woo. Max says, just wait until the Charles Deering edition of Victoria's Secret phone comes out. Thanks. Yep. There's your secret. Ain't secret no more. <laughs> Ain't no more guesswork there, baby. Yep. I got a Millie Vanilli song stuck in my head. Dang my head. Yep. You uh, You want to say that in English, sir, uh, buddy? Are you lip syncing that song? Nope. <laughs> Steve said the secret is I'm putting it on Billy's website. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he actually preserve me that time and actually go after Billy? That something's wrong here. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that means he doesn't like me anymore because they say we only do it because we like you. And now he's being nice. Oh, no. I'll get back around to me, I feel. Yeah, I can see it now. My patrons stumble onto it. What the hell is that? <laughs> Speaking of what the hell is that, John, why are you being so quiet? I'm not. There you are. I'm not. <clears throat> there you are. No, I'm not. Billy and Herb telling me he's being quiet. John, shut up. All right. John, he dogs him up. <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. He's he's he's. Uh, what do you say? Like my old name, you say. What do you say? What do you say? He thinks he knows you. I see what you did there, Sparky. <laughs> and Billy, you missed it when I was talking about the throat of the scroll saw with John back I when he here. talked. I weren't here. I know that's why you missed it. Duh. Sorry. Max says, John, see, you make Charles nervous when you're quiet. <laughs> no. I can't find the stupid pilot hole. You talk too much. <clears throat> How can you not find a <coughs> pilot hole? You just finished raping them all. <coughs> I was a selective rapist. I didn't rape them all. <laughs> That was, was a good no, one. There was no way for me to clean that up either. <laughs> it's called a struggle cuddle. Wow. <laughs> hey, Billy, you need the Heimlich? Maybe. Russ's going to help you. <coughs> He's closer to you than I am, I think. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Damn it. You're going to you die. <laughs> You're closer to him than I am. Right. He's a good six hours away from me. There is Davis. 
Good night, Larry. Every now and then you get that little tickle. tickle in the back one, of the one, one little tickle goes in there and you can't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> night, Larry. That tickle is John. <laughs> Don't know it <laughs> That, that's my wife like, making fun that, of me. Uh, she gets the Academy like, Award for that performance. I'll say that sounded like Teresa to me. Just say it. It sure was. Tell her I love her, and I'm waiting for the cut down. I'm afraid to tell Herb's wife I love her anymore because she scares me every time she answers. First <laughs> time was I love you too, I guess, and the second time was okay. So, Russ, tell uh, Teresa I love her. Oh, me too. Oh, see, someone does, someone does so. she said. Hey, hey, wait, that didn't sound like I love you too. <laughs> no, it didn't, but it said, me, someone does. Yeah. Tell her I need loving back. I ain't doing it. What did you say, her, by the way? I said, tell, she tells me the, the same thing. Oh. Okay, so we're, we're both lovable. Yeah. Jason says, I see there are only a few pilot holes. Are there a few, only a, a few long cuts in this piece? I love those long cuts that bring the piece together. Yeah, I, uh, there's a couple of them, but yeah, a lot, there's a bunch of little ones. I don't think there's 5,000 of them or anything, but I, I haven't counted them. We used to do that for contests, and then I said, you know what? I don't have the patience for that, so here we are. No ready. <clears throat> and stuff. And if Charles and. will look through Facebook every now and then, he might see stuff. We know where Teresa's heart belongs to, don't we, Russ? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it right here. Yeah. Well, Got me with my big mouth open. I'm singing the talking, song. Are you talking about where she filmed you driving and said, you yeah. know, we had a lot. See, I've watched Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was sticky and sweet, and I didn't want to be any part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so take that, Herb. <laughs> oh, okay. That was the one of the few posts I actually saw. Well, I'll go back to over here. I know, 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 I know. You count she, them? Got, she got the way. Now, uh, the reason why John doesn't talk much is if he can't find a gift to say it, he doesn't say anything. Well, the only thing I saw wrong with that post, Russ. Yeah. <clears throat> I was is, in it. Is, no, she's, <laughs> she spelled fart wrong. She spelled what? Fart wrong. She oh, should have said, she said, it should, it should have said, no matter how much oh, we fuss yeah. and fart, this uh -huh. is still the man that has my heart. You know, that would have made it rhyme, huh? I reckon. Now my little uh, grandson, he's he's uh, six years old now. He's in first grade. He's got a little. Uh, I don't know if she's his little girlfriend or not, but they're they're pretty good friends, one one or the other. And uh, the girl told uh, my daughter that uh, I, have I have a secret. And she said, "Well, what is it?" No, she said, "You don't tell secrets." And she said, "I'm gonna tell you anyway." Okay. You don't tell secrets. It won't be a secret anymore. But I'm, she's the little girl, so I'm going to tell you anyway. Me and Carson like to go in this room. Oh, and God. We fart, fart, we all, fart all over the place. Holy fart hell. All, we fart it's, all up in here. We fart all up in here. That is so romantic. By the way, we can hear Teresa when she's correcting you. I know. And it's it's one of those things that uh, she has to do. Correct. Well, how, how come all my dates end when I'm farting? I don't know, but she she farted in the truck, and I said, "Do you want to go in that room with Carson?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Bradley. Okay, it wasn't my wife. I thought it was Bradley. It was Bradley. It was not your wife. Yeah, I, yeah, I could have sworn it was my wife. So. I mean, and farting is not my most romantic moment. I do have some secret moves. I reserve. I can't tell you. All right. Where's your uh? Tell her about my suggestion, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa off. It wasn't that funny. Billy said you could have changed the word in there and made it rhyme. Change fight to fart. Change fight to fart. 
Say shit. No matter how much you fuss and fart, this is still the man who has my heart. I don't know why she put that on there. She knows she's lying. <laughs> Jason said, I did an Eagles pattern once while watching the Eagles on Netflix. I was amazed by the few long integrated cuts that went through the whole piece. Yeah, but now you lost your concentration there, Jason. <laughs> did it come out all right? I know, 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 I know. I know it's 39 degrees outside. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Is 39 there, Herb? Yes, sir. I got a fan blowing on me. so Well, we're going to be getting it in a couple of days, I guess. I'm not so lucky. Let's see. Yeah, it's 66 out there right now. Cold front starts coming in. It's going to start getting cooler Wednesday here. Yeah, and uh, we're John's over there. Holy rolling. crap. Our, our forecast high for Sunday is only 36. Mercy sakes. John's over there rolling his eyes. It's like, God, that's a heat wave over here. I, I know, but calling. down here, 36 is a little bit chilly. I think you're calling for 22, is what they said in the early morning. <laughs> Yeah, we we got lows of 23 Saturday and Sunday. Mercy sakes. That's a that's a hard freeze. Whatever will we do, Billy? I mean, uh, uh, John? You can bet I'm still going to be walking around in shorts. Me too. I walking, always walk around in shorts. I'll be walking around in my sweatpants or uh, stretch pants. Yeah. I'll walk around in shorts, but I'll have a jacket on. <laughs> you know, see, that's just... I know it's crazy. It I, just, the purpose. I just don't. I just don't make no sense to me. I uh, I I got used to being out in the elements when I was a mailman. I wore shorts almost all year round. I gave John an opening. Well, I always get, didn't take it. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, I think I, my sister-in-law did too, Russ. I get cold from the from waist up. I don't really get cold from the waist down. John, why aren't you responding when I refer to you, sir? I heard you. So serious. Oh, John. Why your so eyes serious? Match your shirt. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> from Michelle the other night. <laughs> That's what Michelle told him, yeah. Yeah. She was she was all hot for the John last night. They're not wow. even keeping up the comments. Hot for Johnny boy. Everybody's looking for somebody with their temperatures and nobody's reading their comments because they don't love you like I do, folks. Well, Max I tells you. Max says it's 36 there. Jason Rogers said five here. JJE said minus 11 in no, Wisconsin. Wow. And John Nave said minus 10 where he is. And well, I'm 61 where I'm at. And I'm happy. John John Nave is somewhere in Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 What's the temperature where you are, Mr. John Cozens? It's uh, uh I don't know. Uh, minus forty six. Minus forty six Fahrenheit. 46 Fahrenheit? Yeah. Min no, minus forty six Celsius. Okay. So do do do. It's minus fifty Fahrenheit. Holy hell! <laughs> you can keep it, buddy. Yep. Tad nippy there. Too much. Jason asks, "Can we see John's shop? It looks nice." <laughs> My shop looks nice. What like the hell has he been looking at? <laughs> <laughs> He's got stuff everywhere. How, how, how do you see my shop? Oh, I suppose. Damn. All right. I'll give, you, I'll, give, I'll give you a quick tour, right? freaking cold. Scroll saw a coffee. Scroll saw. Yeah, 21. Thing. Furnace. Display cabinet. Uh, down there, I got sanders. That's my sanding station down there. All, all the shelving I'm getting rid of out here. Uh, planer, table saw. It's 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 yeah. I I really can't do it justice right now with the, with the air. Your with shop the, is with, bigger than I thought it was. It. Yes, because all we ever see is the front part of where he sits. Yeah, yeah. we only uh, see that long yeah. rectangular area. 
Everybody's 20, always thought uh, it was that little bitty aisle thing he's my, sitting in. My shop, yeah. my shop, my shop. The, the shop is twenty four by twenty four. What? I'm bad. Twelve by thirty two. We're gonna they get it. Says better than mine. We want a tour of uh, Billy's recliner. <laughs> 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 Hello, uh, Vanna. All right. And, uh, here's a tour of uh, Herb. Herb. <laughs> Herb kickback relax in the chair. Yep, and a tour of uh, Teresa's office that Russ is borrowing. Uh-uh, that's both of our office. My half. Okay. Well, give us the tour. <clears throat> that's it. You see it? That's it. <laughs> that's all there is. Everything in here is hers except for this computer desk I sit at. <laughs> and that toolbox in the background back there came from Sears. That was one of them $800 tool chests. That's hers. Good Lord. It's all full of uh, uh, ribbons stuff. And, and stuff like that for when she used to make the dog bows and, and all kinds of stuff. Everything and back there is hers. Nice. J Jason Rogers says, thank you. We're here to serve, sir. Unless You're quite you, welcome. Unless you want to see me in stretch pants. Mac Pierce, the scene of the crime is behind <laughs> us. <laughs> ah, that's funnier than crap right there. All right. I don't get that much action. I'm gonna no, you, mine's right at 20 by 40, folks. I'm going to give you a tour of this here, mm. Trevor Shepard. Sorry for ruining the shop tour show. We have nine people watching. Not here. my recliner, but my shop. 20 by 40? Yeah. That's good size. And I've got a 10 by 20 attachment, or not attachment. There's there's an additional room to the side. It's a storage room. It's where my dust collector is. It's ten by twenty, and mm -hmm. six hundred square foot of the attic is is, is uh, floored. All oh, right, and and that's all storage. Dang, boy. You put all your pieces up there like Charles does his. <laughs> no, uh, the, we use it as storage for what we don't have room for in the house. Ah, I got you. Like like my Hot Wheels and Norma's. And yeah. the wife's uh, Star Wars collectibles and stuff like that. All right. She's into Star Wars? Yeah. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. How close are you to uh, April's place, April Wilson? She's in Fort Worth, I believe. No, she's in San Antonio. Oh, she used to be in Fort Worth. Okay. Is she really? Yeah, she's in San Antonio. I did not know that. Yeah, she's... Uh, Somewhere in San Antonio or right at right around San Antonio, but I you think may not be cool enough, Billy. That's she has two shops. That. She just built her a, a big ass shop. Well, I, I don't, don't know follow her highway, but I don't know what highway it's off of. Yeah, I don't follow her, so I'm I didn't, but I didn't know she was. I didn't oh, know yeah. she was that close. Oh yeah, she's, she's <laughs> very close to you. I know who she is. I just don't follow. Her. Yeah, I'm she's here. One of, the, one of the first few I sub to the first. Two, three years I was in the business. She's good at what she does, but you know, personality matters to me. I, well, I she's, like, she's a sponsored girl. So that's why she does her stuff for sponsorships. But right, she's told. right. Well, Mark Spagnolo is the same way anymore. Yeah. Um, but she's a uh, wood whisperer yeah. for those that don't know. Who right. She, what about. do you mean that way anymore? What way? Sponsors? Yeah. Yeah. They, same with Jay Bates, the same way. I think, <laughs> uh, I think that they, yeah. uh, they're, they're sponsored. And uh, when they make a video, it's for, for the sponsorships, That's right? And well, the they always and they're always doing these ads in their videos. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> for well, for, that's how they're making it? that big money. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, April April is doing since she's built that big shop. You know, she's got stuff in there for sale, and uh, slabs of wood that she's got stacked everywhere. And she's you you need to come buy some wood. Come get it here. Well, Tampax, if you're watching, I I, I wouldn't mind being sponsored either. <laughs> Uh, I've been watching a young lady out of Phoenix lately. Her name is Sadie May. Mm -hmm. uh, she does some pretty cool work. She's a turner. No, she's oh. uh, she's a maker, furniture builder, carpenter slat type. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, you, know her, you know her channel? I'm trying to remember when I find it. <clears throat> Put it in Give the me a second. Chat, and I'll check it out. Give me a second. Why not put it in the public chat? I don't know if they're interested, but I am. <laughs> I'm always interested in looking at new stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
The Awesome Orange. Awesome Orange. I'm going to go try to look that up right quick. Really? Oh, right away. Oh, there you go, Frank. <clears throat> oh, you dummy. I've been called worse. I'm a stupid. I'm guessing it's not the awesome orange. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It's the boisterous banana. Sorry, it's all I can think of on two brain cells. Sorry. Yeah, Jason, if you go over to uh, what if I could, W-O-O-D, if I could scroll us all over on YouTube. I do. I, I did done a couple shop tours in there. <clears throat> but if you catch me when I'm doing a show and I can just take you around my shop and because I know every time I do when everybody asks questions on how I built my my table, my table and what I'm doing with the one section over there and blah blah blah, then I basically explain everything as I'm doing it as I walk you through. I can give you all a tour of my shop. Not that anybody seems to care. <sighs> Okay, I won't. <laughs> okay, it's in the main chat. <clears throat> so anybody that's got any kind of interest can check her out. Relatively too, new channel, and it's not that big. But she does some pretty cool stuff. It's got almost 5,000 subscribers and only 25 videos. Yeah, when I first started following her, she had like uh, 500 subs. And I've only been following her about a year. <clears throat> a booty year. What? A booty year. A boot, yeah. Just confirming. Jason Rogers says, uh, I've seen Charles' shop, watched his video of getting delivered. Long time ago. Finally got it paid off. Had to get a loan to do it. Because <laughs> when you get one of these rent-to-own buildings, you're only paying the fee every month. You're not, you're not actually paying off the shop. Oh. <clears throat> That's why I've, I've been without chickens for a while now, and I'm still paying on that damn chicken coop. Because the monthly payment is just paying the fees. <clears throat> I've seen a number of <clears throat> <clears throat> shots from inside of Charles's shop. Can't get much of a tour. There's stuff stacked everywhere. Well, well if somebody walk open the door and throw a bomb in there. <clears throat> I love you too, fellas. Of course, I'll give you a tour. Project nope. stacked on project. Not anymore. They're all in the house, except for that horse. That's the eight <laughs> horse piece. They're in the oh, house. All those that were stacked up over there to your right are in they're the house all, now? They're all in the house now. Oh, good. There's my Seiko and my lappy top. Mm -hmm. There's some cabinets. With well, I'll be dang. I can actually, been, been doing some cleaning. I can actually see stuff. Sort of <laughs> what th those... Dowels, because I don't know what Alrighty, size to use for the what. Those dowels <clears throat> are because I don't know what I, size. I don't think I've ever seen those cabinets before. Well, they're there. <laughs> the, Is there anything in them? Yes. Okay. I could show you. Where are the dowels for, Charles? The axles of the stagecoach. I just didn't know what the math uh, increased to, so I just got every size dowel I could find besides the claw rod. There's little bins over there. Those have sandpaper and manuals and blah, blah, bull crap. And an old van. Right. And 
That's my oscillating spindle sander and yep. my my uh, lathe sharpening or my slow moving sharpener, whatever the hell you call it, is over there somewhere. Slow, right. slow speed grinder. grinder. Yeah, thank you. There's a roller table. I used that before I built my table. That's backer type wood. There's a whole bunch of pieces stacked right here. Uh, uh, not pieces, but uh, scrap wood. Uh, those are the backers. Some of Cliff's backers for his damn Deadpools. <laughs> Max okay. says, Charles, remember the huge pile of Dr. Pe empty Dr. Pepper bottles? Oh, yeah. Dad oh, by yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a random bullhorn, because why not? And, and there's a ladder trying to fall on the floor. Yeah, I used that when I was trying to take a picture of the eight-foot wide, wide uh, horse scene. There's, there's another the outfeed roller. Yeah. Now, now you look Why the trash can? He never do this. Oh, no. He gets there after he sweeps it up. When did you build the first stable shell? Oh, that will come. One of my videos. You wrote really bad. I never built it yet. They're breaking up. Yeah, you're breaking up. Am I still a robot? Yep. Yes. Let me go out back and grab it. So set back what down. You sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it sounded like. I'll go out and come back in. <gasps> hey, Teresa. Hi, Rusty. Hey, Teresa. So Hello, Teresa. He goes in and hurts and I, Teresa. Because it's he stuck it on me and you for some reason when he left. I, I didn't stick it there. It ended up there. <laughs> oh, so it went for the eye it, candy. It, it, yeah, I guess. Sure, that's what it is. <laughs> what the hell? That's you. Yeah, I'm supposed to be in the first spot, not the last one. Yeah, you were right. actually, yeah. uh, actually the eye candy is Teresa. Thank you very I much. I know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you don't mind oh, getting man. back to that. It's, it's, it's my hind parts. Uh, 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 what's your face, Herb? Now you don't I even know what I was gonna say. Look at the size of that head or something like that. No. All right. You gonna say <laughs> yeah. how sexy I was? No. Did you want to tell us what you were gonna say? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> then then his know, original I statement know, stands. I know. I know, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> that is you, my rigid table saw. I used to have pieces stacked all the way up to like here, and. uh Anyways, and then I have a shelf up there. I have a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, uh, baseboard stuff because I was going to try three-dimensional stars like you see right there. I bought one off of somebody, and I couldn't figure out how to match the angles. I don't know how the hell he did it. You got well, to uh, use a coping saw. Oh, well, I, I didn't do that. Alexa, off. Yes, ma'am. And there's some <laughs> scroll saw blades right there. So I can't hide them from y'all anymore. Are they flat? I don't know. I can run and grab them if you want me to. That's the little bitty stagecoach I've been showing you. There's the Metallica. And uh, So where's all the rest of the stagecoach parts? I don't know yet. They're probably somewhere in that pit of hell. So that, that narrows it down a little bit. The rest of my, oh, oh, next to oh. spine, my young man. The, <laughs> the, uh, well, shoot. I got to turn my camera crane around. No, I'm going to knock my dang, whatchamacallit off. Wait, dang nabbit. You can't really see it, but that shelf is sitting on top of my stack of wood, but I can't tilt the camera down anymore. That right there is what I got from Russ Meadows. That's my, that's a Harbor Freight lathe. That's uh, without the cover over the pulleys. And so there's that. And there used to be a whole bunch of pieces stacked up on that table right there. And there's that spare. Jason spirit. Rogers said. <laughs> <clears throat> she just shut my Matt, legs off. <laughs> Max. <laughs> what oh, what are you funny. saying, Billy? Russ beat me to it. Oh. And yeah, there's the uh, spherical shelf where I keep screws and crap. And uh, just random. Oh, my office is back behind those cabinets, by the way. Right. Down by those bins. <laughs> If you take a left at those bins, you'll see my office. My door is over there. Spherical screws. 
they're not spherical screws. They're on the spherical shelf. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I thought he said spiritual. Spirit <laughs> in the sky. Well, God bless you, by God. <laughs> so there's that, and uh, my belt sanders on the floor because that's where they belong. Thanks for getting that song stuck in my head, Herb. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another roller stand, and there's a clock I did way back when. It's a hand holding a ball. Anyway. And then. I'll get another one stuck in your head, Billy. All right. There's a. Uh, watch that. Never oh, 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 oh. Yep. There's my redneck window tent. There's more cabinets. Letters are written. Never, Never meaning to send. I'm doing a shop tour. Be nice. There's my air sucker that's not on because the filter's caked in dust. More cabinets. <laughs> more clamps. You know, they and, make replacement filters. Yes, I know. I have a stack of them over there on the end of that long shelf I showed y'all. There's my lathe turning tools. Some you lazy of, last year. A couple of them have fallen, but they're on a magnet. And uh, there's a uh, pawn shop jointer thingy. And that's the other end of the lathe. Right back there. So now you've seen the whole shop. You're welcome. Except for my office. What brand is that pawn shop joiner? Uh, rigid. <clears throat> it was that rusted on. It was rusted on top, and I sanded all the rust off of it. Got new blades for it, and I ain't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a surface planer uh, over. Over there, I haven't used yet. That's a uh, WEN, W-E-N. That's my front door to my shop. I go right out there to pee. That's the magnet that goes on the top of the uh, Seiko. Yep, yep, yep. Now Mike got another one stuck in my head. Thank you. Oh, uh, what? Sport coat? No, nope, not that one. And a pink Saturday in the yeah. park. Thought it was the Fourth of July. Saturday. Anyway, you now see my shop. Does anybody care what time it is? Does anybody they really know what time shop. it is? Does anybody really care, really care about about time? time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, I can't can't that. <laughs> yeah. We all got time enough to die. That was my first concert. Yeah, is that right? Yep, Chicago, 1970. That is so Texas. awesome. I don't even care. Wow. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. What's that, what's that famous like? Oh, yeah. Oh, we sure do appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> There's 12 people watching now, Charles. Much obliged. If you got any comments or questions, chunk them on out there. God, I got called out on my own show. Uh, uh, I don't remember the words. God help me. Uh, oh, if you have any we comments, sure appreciate you. Yeah, that too. We appreciate you living hell. If, you, if you have any what? Questions or comments. Comments or questions. Throw them in the chat. There. I'll be sure to answer inquiries. them for you. <laughs> or that. I love tripping him up when I get a chance. Hey, when I'm awake, that's easy to do. Yes. All right, boys. I gotta go get some food here. Okay, John. Bring back like Russ does. Yeah. No, What's that? Yeah, What's that? What's that? What? 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 I had to go. I had to go inside and get some food. We were there for most hey. of seven and a half hours. But if you want to run off just to eat, uh, oh my god. god. Uh, <laughs> no, just 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 turn the screen off, just like I do. Make sure you cut the mic so you don't hear you chomping. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. And, uh, right. oh, hey, and by the way, I'm not working tomorrow, so I'll be back on tomorrow. Oh, Yay. Wow. Yay. <laughs> Good night, John. Good Jason, night, Joe, thank you, Charles. Catch okay. y'all on the flippity, flippity floppity. Oh, all right, 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 right. Hey, Jason, Jason, says, um, thank you, Charles. I hope to someday have a full size shop. Yeah, I never dreamed I would. Uh, it, it was costing me out the hind parts uh, 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 monthly, but. Uh, Eventually, things calmed down enough. We could get a bank loan to pay off stuff like that. Need to get another bank loan to uh, because ever since I paid off my truck, my credit score dropped because I don't have enough credit rotation and crap. Right. Swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home. Swing low. Sorry, I was feeling it. I'm sorry. 
Okay, stay quiet, please. Well, we just letting you carry on, brother. I was done, baby. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> okay. More words. Them words. Them words? Yep. Or is it these eyes? Are crying. I've seen the glory of the comedy. Yeah. We're going to see how many songs we can have enough wind to sing. We're going to see. <laughs> these <laughs> eyes. That's the guess who. I don't know why all these songs are popping in my head. I don't know. Well, it was like a karaoke crusher here. You what, Russ? They're from Canada. <laughs> yes. Canada. They are. Oh, but, wow. I don't care. Who Burt is a, he was a he, hell of a vocalist. Oh, yeah. I, I, Burton Cummings. Yeah, he was good. Sure. Yep. I, I, dead, I loved me some Guess Who. Yeah, me too. Well, you don't have to be a mystery about it. Just freaking tell us. I just said. Well, this sounds yeah. like a, a who's on first deal. Yeah. Coming up. <laughs> Guess who? Why don't you just tell us? <laughs> who's on third? No, what's no on who's third? on first? What's on third? Who's shortstop? Can't remember that. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> You're entertaining here, folks. You don't have to pay nothing for it except your dignity. That is the greatest comedy bit in the history of comedy, by God. And it's, Thank you very much, Russ. It okay. is. <laughs> Not vulgar. Yep, yep. That's, that's me and Herb. You're welcome, Bob. Thank you. Thank you very much. The, that Not one much. math one. That one math one they did was. Oh yeah, cool. something, something equals twenty eight. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that one one time in my life. But it that was is cool. awesome. I don't even give a damn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to instruct this young man in, in the fine art of uh, comedy, Billy. I, I know comedy, baby. Why do people keep coming back here? It ain't for damn talent, that's for sure. They keep coming back for me and Russ. And well, Billy. whatever. It's, uh, your, it's your panel, man. I, wow. I have to tell you. All right. Well, we oh. just went from thirteen to eleven. Y'all kiss my hind part. Yeah. Y'all hating on the host. Just saying. And yeah. on that note, I give you a. <laughs> <laughs> you see how every one of them was there to back me up? You see how every one of them was there to back me up? It's your panel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody stand you, Charles. It's us. They're here for. <laughs> They're probably not wrong, but you didn't have to bring that to the forefront. My God. I'm sorry. It, it happens. Truth hurts sometimes. But we love you. This is in his order to see the skirt. That too. They keep coming to see the skirt. They've been, they've been disappointed every time. Well, I'm a tease. Yeah. Y'all heard, heard it, folks. Throw a little monetary remuneration in his direction, and I'm sure you'll see the skirt. I've never been upset by money, unless it was going to somebody else. <laughs> Burns my ass when an 80-year-old woman wins the lottery. You gonna leave it to a damn dog, woman? Sorry, I'm a hater. You have to uh, have a little skin in the game when you're playing the lottery, buddy. Yeah, apparently you gotta play the lottery too. Yeah, no skin in the game. You, you win never it. win. What, what'd you say, uh, Billy? I said only if you want to win it. Yeah. Yeah. They and I. Main reason I stopped playing. They 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 laugh every time I tried to return the unused tickets. It's like it's like what they didn't win. I'd like to return this. Didn't fit right. Mm -hmm. I'd like to exchange these with for some new. Ones. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't using them. Yeah, no these weren't no good. I'd like to exchange them for some new ones. Yeah, the only reason I keep my head is this place to hold my glasses and a staple to my neck. Fine, I, I thought it was funny. All righty then. You're very, very quiet. We have 11 people watching. If you have any comments or questions, check them on out there. We appreciate you. I hold the record for saying that the quickest. I'm very proud of that record. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, hush. Good Lord. Can't pay for good help around here. <laughs> God, well, the prices you're paying. <laughs> We're in conference, so hush up. 
you're disturbing Wait, us. Are y'all uh, staging a mutiny behind me there? Mm, could be. <laughs> Just saying, because you, uh, you never know when old uh, Big Brother's watching. See, Russ is ready. <laughs> it only took two camera shots to let him know I must be next. I deduced. I'm the last one, huh? <laughs> Why? Well, I, 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 that's the last, buddy. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> what the hell is a noodle scrawl? Noodle scroll saw, sir. The rubber arm on the upper mind. If you pay attention to this damn show now and then, you know that. <laughs> I'm thinking he's a noodle scraw. I didn't know what the heck he was talking that, about. That's the noodle scraw. Watch uh, when I turn it on. See, it's uh, I, go... I understand how that works. You know, I've, I've seen that for how many years now? But I was well, trying to figure out what he was talking about. You got to read between the lines and be smarter than the text. That's that's the problem. Yeah, I didn't want to be the one to point that out, hey. but I pointed it out. Sorry. Okay, read both. between my lines. Sorry. Are you looking? You didn't look. Oh, I'm not looking. I'm, I'm no, he's rolling, not. damn it. <coughs> what, did he, he flip me off? He ain't looking. No. What am I supposed to be looking at? What am I supposed to be looking at? You know, I got to look at the scroll saw while I'm scrolling. I'm funny that way. What am I supposed to be looking at? Is every Rush. damn one of y'all flipping me off? Are you going to peel that nana right in front of us? Go ahead. No, I just told you to read between the lines. Uh, on your wife's shirt over there? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a tad flustered. <laughs> it would have been quicker just to flip me off there. I'm Russ. not frustrated. You, I'm just frustrated. You missed one. See, Russ, you just, you just, you just do that. No Charlie. guesswork. Charlie missed one. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> That's true. That's 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 troubling. Wow. <laughs> your turn, Russ, but you might pull something getting to your camera. <laughs> you're me you're m m mooted, Russ. There you go. Now we're all done here. <clears throat> you're still muted. I didn't need to have uh, words to make that gesture. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Mac Pierce says, "Wow, Charles talking." Uh, I was listening to the panel. Go to your room, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you at three in the morning on September twenty oh. third? Can't oh. watch it. They're dropping like flies. Yeah, that's what they do. We have a little fun here, and sometimes it's at the expense of talent. <laughs> <laughs> or in spite of, or or in place of. Never mind. I don't. Don't make me talk. Well, while y'all were debaucherizing, I managed to get the this area done. Just saying. <laughs> Looking good. Starting to look like a dog. Much grass, senior. <laughs> I, I started taking Spanish lessons. How am I doing? Not very good. Or, uh Well, would you rather have me said, well, you kind of suck at it? Well, you pretty much said everything but that <laughs> before. <laughs> now, yeah. Just, uh, Charles is talking. I was listening to the panel. I already read that. If you'd been <laughs> listening to me, you'd have known that. No, 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 I heard that R I, I, I heard. I, I would never do that. <laughs> Not <laughs> why he's here. I, I respect my panel more than that, by God. Oh, when he does it in a talk text, to Wes about that. Y'all be nice. It, Go ahead. When he does it in the text, that's when I'm calling HMR. <laughs> <laughs> we we <laughs> <laughs> so we have Herb Rupert, Bert, and Wes on the panel. Appreciate you, <laughs> Bert and Wes. And I I'm sure missed that fella. Yeah, taxidermy needs to hurry up and get over with. I think he said he was on his last one. 
for now. Either that or Charles run them off. Nah. Nope. <laughs> Let's take a drink. My little stuff. I'm out. I need to get some more. You about to annoy your wife with that sound, ain't you? Oh! Yeah. No. Oh! No. Oh! Almost got me, but I guess. <laughs> See, that's the way Herb and Russ do interventions. They don't want me to drink, so they try to stop me. Just, we didn't, we're not trying to stop it. We're just trying to get you to cut back. That way, if you go longer than an hour without Dr. Pepper, you won't fall out on the floor. Well, that yeah. too. Y'all want to be able to carry the casket when I croak. There, there's oh, that. We also like to have a little stain on the on the project that you're working on. Make it yeah. look good. <laughs> Just saying, if I carry the casket, guess what? It's going in left circles. It's going right. in left circles. <laughs> no, it's going in right right circles. Let, let's put them over here. Just no, it'll be going left circles. It's like gra grave digger meet us in the middle. I don't know where this is going to end up, but just, just <laughs> stick close. <laughs> Good night, Jason. <laughs> Night, Jason. Good night, night Jason. Jason. Can't imagine what run you off, but appreciate you being here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you never know what's going to be said or read that makes the wheels fall off. That's for yeah. sure. That's Still enough. Sure. But it has been a, a a fairly long time since they fell completely off, haven't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> been a while since I, I got to the point of tears and had to take off my glasses and wipe my face and leg. <laughs> 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 I think that was back when Wes was around. Now, I was laughing last night when my brother reminded me to go back and watch the live stream when he was making faces, and Billy loses it, and then John and Cliff are over there looking at each other's uh, uh pictures uh you know thumbnails and it was just kind of funny just had to be there and of course don't forget starting the show with russ's nipples <laughs> <laughs> show me another show you get to see russ's nipples right off the bat just saying you're welcome i'm gonna yeah. make you a star russ <laughs> not for mm. the reasons i wanted well, uh, by God, I've been trying. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate at this point. I'll, I'll, I'll use anybody to get me famous. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, mighty fine. What's weird is that I find time to actually scroll during all this debauchery. Yeah, that ain't no kidding. I used to stop to talk. It's amazing we got anything done. I would have had to stop and talk. Was... Oh. I couldn't do the the the, the uh, spiral blades and, and talk and laugh like that at the same time. I, I can I, I, stop. I don't mean to brag or nothing, but I, I can scroll with one hand if y'all want me to. I'll put the other hand in view so you don't think I'm staring with it, and I ain't staring with no other body parts. I can't do that. I got to have both hands. Y'all want to see me? I'm, I want to show off something. All right, go ahead. All right, let's do it. Watch the blade break just to insult me. It's like it's a panel member or something. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody think I can't do it? No, I'm not going to say that. Where's okay. your other hand? Uh, just a sec. I'm taking a drag of my stogie. I also have to back it up kind of so y'all don't think my belly or my hooser deal is helping steer. And I uh, got to get everything in view so you don't you don't see anything up against the edge of the piece while I'm steering here. Now y'all see how, how much it goes off the line. And this will kill 10 ordinary people. I do have to hold <laughs> the piece while I'm starting the saw, okay? Yeah. And the reason why the camera is so off, off of where it's cutting is so y'all can see nothing's helping back here. <laughs> Okay, are y'all ready? It's going to be really freaking impressive. Now send all your money, okay? Nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> this would be more impressive if it was the eight foot wide horses, but I, you got to start somewhere. Don't get too close to the other line. I'm not, baby. <laughs> I'm a professional idiot. 
I'm okay, you right. Mr. Professional, can I suggest something else? After I get done with this cut, I'm trying to show off. Only one talent at a time, sir. All right. Good yeah. It's not in like that. It spit it out. Where's, where's the applause? I want the applause. Golf clap. I got the claps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, I'll leave the camera right there where you had it. <laughs> yeah. No, Jason not right said there. Russ's Put it wife back on has the a Jason says Russ's wife has a serious southern drawl. Sorry, oh. not sorry. I'm from New Hampshire. That's where I had it, uh her. Okay. Now Jason. leave oh, yeah. your, you. leave your left hand over there. I want you to load it and unload that blade with <laughs> one handed. Oh shit. This, uh, for those that don't know, on a rare serious note, Herb had a stroke. He has no use of his left side, so we're going to see if it can be done. I doubt it for me. Because, but yeah, oh wow, this is going to be hard. Can I do just, just do this part, or do I have to load it through a pilot hole first? You got to load it through the pilot hole. Okay, we're going to see if it can be done. But I'm doing this because this is a tribute to. Uh, just, just think if I was doing that piece. Yeah, look, this is a tribute for Herb. I just got to figure out how I can see the uh, pilot holes because my eyesight's going to hell. Let me find one that I'm sure I could find easily. -ish. But yes, I'm doing this for you, Herb, because we all need to try to challenge ourselves because not everybody has a choice in the matter. Okay, I made it through a pilot hole. You see my left hand down here. This is the part I'm scared of. Now, do you have any use of your left side? Like, can you, like, pull your arm over and, no. like, push the arm? Okay. Oh, snap. Okay, we're going to try this. But if I can do it, then Herb has no more excuses not to do his channel. Hello, show. JJE. Hello, JJE. Okay, I think it can be done. <clears throat> I could be wrong. Left hand. We do it. Okay. Now you see what I face every time I try to get out there. I'm actually, uh, believe it or not, her, uh, Herb, I'm actually grinning here because out of uh, pride because that tells me there's hope and that's not a cut down. Because oh, I know it. I know you and I both are worried about that, but I, I'm uh, actually tickled that I did that. So now if I lose my right hand, we're, we won't have any more scrolling shows because I'm right handed. <laughs> But uh, I, it, it proves it can be done. Doesn't mean it's easy as hell, because you have to be able to see the pilot hole. And one thing I, I humbly uh, suggest, Herb, is putting sharpie dots on those pilot holes underneath, in case you can't see it real well, because that was the problem I ran into. I had to let the light shine through one of them pilot holes. Well, one, I won't be doing a billboard. Mine will probably be eight by tens. Well, this isn't necessarily a billboard. Well, consider to me to be a billboard. But all jokes aside, I'm tickled to death that I was able to do that. That tells me it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's not going to be ideal and fun, but by God, it can be done. Now, okay. should I tr try all that with my left hand? Go ahead. No. no I, can't, I can't do it with my left hand. No. <coughs> What's easier for me is I get my whole arm up underneath the piece of the wood. Yeah. Find the pilot hole and let it. You know, try to steer it in there while I'm trying to balance in the piece. Yeah. I'm actually uh, on cloud nine right now thinking, okay, I thought it was damn near impossible, but uh, I might. And I, I know I'm dogging myself here, but if my dorky, unorganized, chaotic ass can do it one handed, then that there tells me there's hope. So I'm actually, all jokes aside, very happy that uh, it's possible. You know what I mean? And I don't have a big table around mine. Mine's just a. Uh, Regular platform to come on a 16-inch Craftsman. Yeah, therefore, he'll be doing 8 by 10s not billboards. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But let's everybody give a thumbs up because we know Herb can do it. He could have just said, hell no, I, I suck. I'm going to sit here and pout in my chair. But no, he plans on doing it. Thumbs up, everybody. Tell Go, Herb. Go, Herbie. Go, Herbie. Go, Herbie. <laughs> Go, Herbie. Go, Herbie. <laughs> no, I, I've become the uh, comedy actor this show. I don't need to scroll. Oh, well, sh I did all that for nothing. <laughs> I was challenging you because you said you always like a challenge. 
Speaking of Hello, Shelly. Hey. Hello, Shay. Hello, Shay. Uh, hello Shay Lelicious. We were uh we were seeing I scrolled one handed. Your hair looks nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we were scrolling one handed and I loaded the blade. Well, I put the pilot hole through the uh, put the blade through the pilot hole, uh, loaded it into the clamp, clamped it down, pulled the tension all with one hand. So we're I'm a little happy because that shows us Herb can do it, and that was the reason why I did it. So I'm tickled to death. Do you want to tell people where they can find you besides inspiredbyshaylee.com or along with? Uh, Midnight Scroll Her on Instagram and Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. All right, folks, I want you to know, and I said this on John's show, she's not a freaking slutty bimbo. She's good at what she does. It pisses me <laughs> off, and I know it's branding, Mr. Steve Nealon, but dag nabbit. She doesn't have to show off body parts to get people to see her stuff. She has an awesome, and I'm not sucking up. I just happen to, I'm scared of her is what it is. But <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she, she is yeah. incredibly talented. Yes. She's very talented. She's very helpful. She's very easy to like. She's not easy in general, so don't go there. And she doesn't have to show her butt or her blah, 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 the, the other things to uh, to uh, uh, get noticed, okay? So y'all check her out, inspiredbyshaley.com, Midnight Scroll Her on YouTube, and for $50,000, you might get to see a picture of her, but I'm so sorry, Shaley. I couldn't, take, I, I couldn't keep it up. Uh, uh, not thought that. <laughs> <laughs> the maturity, I couldn't you keep tried. up. I, I you tried. tried. And I, did, I, did that public, I did that on publicly. I'm never ahead. Shut up, Billy. <laughs> So everybody on the panel, wave, <laughs> wave to Shaylee. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a stroke. Okay, okay, I'm okay, having a, I was having a seizure. Sorry. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being here, Shaylee. Uh, so I'm. Oh wait, wait. Were you holding something up? No, that was Teresa standing up. All right, look behind you there, Russ. Oh God, she's coming. Oh, oh okay. She's I got a big camera now, buddy. I can okay. see. Okay. <laughs> Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Oh, I know, uh, Steve Neal, and I was, you know, it's me adding comedy to everything. I know you didn't say anybody was funny. That was my word. Watch out, she might sh uh, get her uh, attack dog. Yeah, for the re clear record, it was me saying slutty, not Steve Neal, and he didn't even imply that. As a matter of fact, he was defending, saying uh, if it works for her, let it work. But I was just saying how I felt, and we're going to get back to uh, the scrolling thing. And uh, pretty good idea. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, there's that. Ooh. Tickled to have you here, Shaylee. Your hair turned out nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I can't oh. do an impression of your voice yet, but give me a chance. All right. By God, we did one hand to scroll and one hand and loaded. I don't know what else <sighs> I want me to do without making a pull out of myself because I've never done that before on the show. Uh, I expected some moans. Okay, but what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I was multitasking. I was looking at these big old teeth on this dog. Shaylee, was I uh, rocking that bra that day, or did you not get to see that? I didn't see that. Damn. Ask Mac. Or, uh, shoot. Does anybody have that bra picture? Uh, <laughs> let me just look in my gallery. I seen it on Mac's page. And that's okay. why I jumped on, because I was like, what is going on? Yeah, now, God love you, Shaylee, but you know on this show, come on, focus. Clear. Clear, pl -pl -pl. There we go. Uh, I was doing it to be an attention whore. That's pretty much it. What's funny is my wife is so used to me being a dork, she barely questioned me. Just said, told me where it was, and I went and grabbed it. And there we are. For what it's worth, she wasn't wearing it when I took it. Steve well, said it also wasn't about Shay. <laughs> I know, I know. It definitely wasn't about Shay because we were... The, pr the point was, it uh, that's just how I feel. Uh, Shay is noticed for what she does. She does get flirted with a lot. Got a lot. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Who started she, that? She, 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 uh, I, I don't know if I started. I was involved in it, but I I have publicly apologized to her, just throwing it out there. Because yeah, even though she's lighthearted about it, I, I, I don't want her to feel like a piece of meat ever. Uh, she just happens to be A.D. Shay's a wowser good looking but besides that she's good at what she does awesome personality she's gonna make me rich i hope she's really good at and she's very eager to price all my work that's the part i love about her most <laughs> and, 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 i don't know about that one she has that awesome laugh too so 
uh, but she, her and John Cousins are doing a uh, class every other Saturday. February 13th is the next one, $10 per person. And if you want to add anything to that, Shaylee, I'm going to pretend I know how to scroll. <laughs> is there anything to add to that, Shaylee? No, I actually need to work on my pattern and get it up on the website like today, but I had a really long day, so I probably will do it tomorrow. All right. I'm tickled that you decided to stop by. I'm also tickled because Herb won't leave me alone. He's flirting with me back here, but I'm a professional. Yeah, that's your story. You can tell that lie any way you want By to. By God. Because I'm the nice guy on this crowd. I am too. When you're asleep. I get a lot more hits on me than y'all do on you. Just throwing that out there. Come on, Cletus. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Have y'all watched these shows? I get abused as hell. <laughs> I offer a little bit back though. I've never abused Shaylee because I'm scared of her and I need her help. Never abused Steve Neely because I'm not scared of him, but I need his help and I don't want to lose my website. That too, yeah. You know. She and might Billy shake. Will... Go ahead. She might shake her German Shepherd on you. I love German Shepherd. He laying in the floor yawning. Boy, he got a mouth full of teeth. Yeah, for what it's worth, uh, Billy has sucked up to Steve Nealon on the show as well. So he, he won't talk to Matt because he likes his website too. And I think Steve loves having that power over us, even though he's not petty enough to take our websites away. You know, why, why test the waters? You know what I mean? Billy, you want to talk? No. What the hell was that? What me? Shaylee, you okay? What the hell You're was Billy? That? <laughs> that was not me. What the hell? What were you squeezing your little <laughs> air oxygen thing there? Good one, Billy. Were you whistling that little oxygen deal? <laughs> no. <laughs> or did you sit on a thumbtack? What the hell was that? It's an air biscuit. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's a sound effect. God Almighty! It's like Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, folks. This show brings out the religious side of me. <laughs> Right back at you, Billy Baby, but not on the air. Don't want people to know about our secret undying love that you have for my brother. What? Nothing. It was autocorrect. <laughs> Man, it's it, nine said You've been scrolling for one hour, 57 minutes, and 25 seconds. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. And part of that was one-handed. The and part I was worried about when I was loading that plate, I was afraid I wasn't going to get it far enough into the clamp before I tightened it, but I did it. Go ahead, Herb. The way I did on that Craftsman, the arm comes out, but there's a cover behind it. Huh. I I take a wedge, stick it in there to bring it down to the right height to stick the blade in it. Well, that's good. I had to, you know, like do like this kind of crap, but yeah. There's a, I don't know how other saws are set up for the most part, but this one has a spring that connects the upper and lower arm in the back. So it has some bounce back. Yeah. And if you hadn't done it right, it would have went like this. That's what Billy does every time Shadley comes on the panel. You can talk, Shadley, and nobody can be mad at you. They'd probably rather hear you than me, as a matter of fact. Yes, I'm making a sandwich. Okay. A sandwich? A sandwich? I'm thinking about ice cream. I scream every time I get off this show. I got some french fries coming. Hey, I'll be right uh, back. All right. Ooh. We're going to move on over to the dog's tongue just, just because. Put a little Cajun spice on those fries. Oh, yeah. Or not the tongue, but everything around it. His mouth area. Come on. I'll just pick a random spot to start. Up, up on the roof. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, I've said this in the past. That once Herb gets going on that scroll saw again, we're going to see his journey. That's part of the entertainment. And secondly, he'll, he'll uh, you know, there's going to be some day we're not going to be able to stop him. He'll just be like, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. So no excuses. And I mean that with all the sincerity of my damn heart, by God. Well, thank you. You're welcome. See, that's, a lot of times, Charlie gets sweet on this show, but people want to ignore that. Shaley, am I sweeter than dog crap right there? Sure, Charles. Yes, Charles. Yes. Me. Okay, thank you. I, I know I had to pry <laughs> you into that, but at least I got it. <laughs> he was making her sandwich. I'm trying to figure out what that spot is. I don't see that spot. 
Oh, that's on my laptop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, would say, I don't see it on my wood, but I see it right there. That's, that's Dr. Pepper stain. Do y'all see that spot? No, that might be on my nope. camera. Nope, that was on my laptop. <laughs> I'll be damned. All right. Now, Shaley, don't mind throwing a, another slice of cheese on that sandwich. We're going to get going. If she says she doesn't like cheese, we can't get married, but uh, I'm sure we can get around it. That was supposed to be a, that was supposed to be a fart, but That's sad. he had this old transistor radio sound and sound effect thingy. You ever watched Alaskan Bush people? No. All the Alaskans I know shave. Um, <laughs> well, his name was Billy Brian Brown, and uh, he passed away at 68. That's the only funny. reason why I mentioned it, he went to school with us. Wow. It was kind of, his, his story is kind of sad. His mom, dad, and his sister, she was in the, you know, pageants and stuff they were flying to uh somewhere in texas and the plane crashed killed all three of them that's sad that's sad he got depressed and that's when he moved to alaska and went off grid i believe shaley uh or wait were you done with your story yeah okay shaley was talking about uh her last couple projects was uh two or three projects was somebody killed themselves and his best friend killed himself it's like my god that's that's a lot of marks left on the world. Because people don't realize you kill yourself, it, it may end your problem, so to speak, but you, you cause destroy it. people around you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now, if yeah, I die, that? hopefully people ain't going to be sitting there cracking jokes at my funeral, but I hope we, you know, y'all can crack jokes. I just want you to at least show up. You know, there's always somebody out there to talk to. Yeah, now, but I do understand having been <coughs> suicidal many times in my younger life, it may feel like you have nowhere to turn, and you, and it's the definition of feeling sorry for yourself, but that means you're human. It doesn't mean you're weak. Yeah. Not everybody knows how to fix things, so please, if you can, find somebody that'll listen. Listen. Just saying. That's what I'm here for. Amen. Oh, Judge, I just listen. And what's said is said, and it don't go no further. There, there were times when uh, the only person I would turn to is Patrick's workshop, believe it or not. Uh, I say believe it or not because he's not known for being a softy, but he's not a butt nugget neither. He comes across as one people don't know him, but he's, uh, he's a great guy. Uh, when I wouldn't talk to anybody else, I'd talk to him, but then I got to where I hermit, hermited up and didn't talk to anybody. So I tend to go through what I call the deep, dark hole of depression by myself because I tend to pull back from everybody. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Shaley and Billy, would you like to talk about depression? You don't have to. I just want people to know that they can always talk to me. I'm always, no matter what time of day, I'm always here. By God. And that's not, that's, not a, that's not a bunch of uh, bull stanky from us. We all joke, but by God, when it comes down to it, we can be serious. God, I think I've been serious for like three minutes. That's weird. Oh, no. But it's proof. There is hope for you, brother. Yeah. Because I used to, my life used to revolve around YouTube. I wanted to be the next big thing. And I said, you know what? Let's just be me. Have fun. If things grow, great. If they don't, great. But uh, people like Shaley and Steve Nealon are helping me, uh, See if I can actually make money off this stuff we do. And uh, everybody else is just a good friend. Not everybody, but most. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, I just always wanted to fit in. That's why I'm so broke, is paying Shaley to be my friend publicly. It's, it's killing me financially, but by God, it's convincing. Well, go ahead, Herb. Sound like you were saying something sincere. Oh, I just, you know, always wanted to fit in. I felt like an outcast in school. Yeah, me too. And then, you uh -huh. hear over the last couple of, well, since this stroke, it's really got further out there. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of people would have sunk 
and it, we've talked about this before, uh, Herb, if I'd have had a stroke and had limited use and couldn't scroll anymore, blah, 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 I'd be sitting there in the corner feeling sorry for myself, and you're not doing that. You're active in the community now. You didn't used to be, but everything's a growth process, and people need to, there's always somebody that has it worse, but not everybody thinks of that when they're going through it. It feels very lonely when you're hurting or depressed, you know. Oh, yeah. You could have folded back and said, I'll never amount to crap again. Steve said, yeah. why you? Go ahead, Billy. You broke up, Billy. All I heard was Steve said, why you? No, oh, <laughs> why you keep blaming me, is what Hernell Media said. What am I blaming? <laughs> what am I blaming him for? I don't know. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't know. All right, Billy, Billy, we weren't messing with you. Your audio did cut out while you were saying Steve said. It, 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 was, it was better now? Yeah. No, 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 no. You might be having a stroke, but uh, but you're, you're better now. Yeah, at first it just, you know, really got to me. There, There is a something and you know i'm only speaking for me there is something fulfilling when people turn to you for somebody to talk to knowing that you're usually goofy in public but they know that they can count on you it's it's fulfilling that people can see behind the comedy of me to know that i anybody can talk to me yeah i mean i i have my quirks but you know i'm con i'm conscious of them for the most part but uh i don't i know what it's like to feel alone i think all of us do so by god Oh. If y'all okay. need professional therapy, pay me. Go to Herb. That's right. <laughs> I'm his pimp. <laughs> oh, I do it for free. I you know, need my sawings, my therapy. Amen. Amen. That's a damn good topic to get into. It's therapeutic. That's that's why I another reason why I trace it onto the wood because usually I'm listening to music and crap while I'm doing it. But your mind is focused. You now, Shaylee, you probably know this even though you've only been scrolling five to six months. After a while, it's kind of what's what's muscle memory. You're not even really thinking, other than the fact that you're trying to stay somewhat on the line, kind of thing. Other than that, it's it's therapeutic to just be active, and your mind's probably thinking about other things. Blah blah blah. But I'll let you elaborate on that if you want. Speak for yourself. No, it totally is because you don't even. I don't even think about what I'm cutting. I just kind of get into my piece, and I think my pieces show emotion because I'm so into it. But um, yeah. My God! I don't know, but I think well, that's why I turn. You'll be so proud of me. Amen. Now I, I hope people, and I'm not fishing for confidence here, but I hope behind all my joking that majority, if not all, my viewers know that I, you know, I, I can be sincere when I need to be, but I don't know if I give them the chance to see that very often, and that's on me. But I love comedy. But anyway, so anybody here, unless they say don't come to me, uh, you can come to us. Just saying. You know, we're not always comical. There's also also a serious side to us. Yep, and I'm I'm getting a message in my ear right now from Shaylee. God, Charles is so charming. I'm he's so sweet. I'm so glad I met him. Thank, I'm glad he let me on this panel. I'm telling you, see, see. Saying uh, that one, Charles is a bold faced liar as well. <laughs> Thanks for screwing the mood there. You can depend on these fellas just like a freaking hemorrhoid. <laughs> that, that's the most sincere I've ever been on my show. Y'all take what you can get here. Come on, please. He was not kidding when he when he I, said that. I the wish, mood got broke. Thank you. I appreciate that, Russ, and I know that was hard for you, but thank you. Uh, I wish I could imitate uh, Shaylee's laugh. That's one thing I can't imitate. <laughs> I can't. I can't move that fast. <laughs> I, I God love you, Shaylee. I just love to do impressions, but I and Russ likes to inform me which ones I can't do. But I, I can. I cannot do your laugh. I want to so bad. It's one of a kind. Can you send me a loop? Of yeah, you, yeah, uh, yeah. Can you send me a loop of you laughing so I can practice? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. She could be sitting there in front of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> My laugh My nickname hard. is Giggles. Aw. Mine is uh, p p Puddles. And Piddle is more likely. It's not Piddle. I build my right boot. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> it's about time for me to call it a night, fellas. Dag nabbit, we were just getting serious, Russ. Yeah, uh, here goes Russ. Pretty, That's pretty. that time. Yeah, and I got a check to deal blood. <laughs> all right. Appreciate you dropping by. Appreciate yeah, you dropping right. by. Get, night, Russ. Right. get my best to Teresa. Appreciate you being here, sir. Right. Have, a, have a good night. Damn it. Uh, 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 Herb, uh, help me. Uh, help me. Help me do uh, Shaley's laugh. <laughs> I can't do it. Man, I can barely even do my own laugh. <laughs> I have I have kind of a out there boisterous laugh. I'm one of the people that laugh when I'm nervous too. <laughs> I sure love you, Mary Lou. <laughs> so it crushes me that I cannot do an impression of Shaley. Damn it. Okay, well I have to go because I have to work in the morning. But hey, I didn't I make you nauseous did I? Charles, a work night. <laughs> okay, all I heard was something about a work night, Charles, work night. What? <laughs> I said, I came out on a work night, but I have to go because I have to go to bed. So she needs to be praised for that because usually only does it on the weekend, so you better feel privileged, and I do. Thank you very much, Shaley, for taking me ser just seriously enough to not tell me to go to hell in private, so I appreciate that and everything you're doing behind the scenes to help me. Thanks for being here, Shay. Bye. Bye. Have, Shay. have a Have a wonderful day at work. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's not how she sounds. It's just the closest I can get. So, now it's just us ugly fellers. I and, 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 yourself here. And, okay, her, uh, me, Billy, and sexy Herb over there. And the very wow. dashing Steve Nealon. There's the blood. <laughs> There's the blood. That was weird being all mature all that time. Wow. Well, hey. Kind people got to see a different side of all of us. Yeah, well, there's sides of me people do not want to see. I found that out from Billy when I offered to wear them pants. Well, I told her, I said the same thing. No, but hell no. Well, by God, at least y'all held back a little bit for a second my feelers. Oh, my God. Billy, we have nine people watching. When you're not throwing up like thinking of me in yoga pants, feel free to... If you have any questions or comments, just throw them right on out there in the chat. And I'm sure somebody would be happy to answer a question. And if we can't answer the question, we'll find an answer for you if and we can. Right, and right. we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate y'all. Y'all come back now, you hell. We're not leaving yet. We're just, we say that every time we say how many people are watching. <laughs> and I had to do that slow so I wouldn't cough. Okay, and I, I get that because uh, you know, if you laugh or too much air is felt through your throat, it will make you cough. And kids don't smoke because it'll make you a dork like me, and uh, I'm not a chick magnet, trust me on this. I know that's a shock, but we appreciate y'all being here. We joke a lot, but if you have any uh, <laughs> if you have any questions, even if they're, even if they're stone cold beginner, there's nothing wrong with that. We all learn somehow. Yep, yep, yep. If it sounds like I'm dogging myself, I am, because if I can learn this, y'all can learn this. I couldn't learn computer programs when it comes to patterns, so that's why I do them on paper. And we appreciate you. Bigger than Dallas. That's pretty big, in case y'all didn't know that. But this, uh, this panel is rough. Go ahead. Because he's got spurs. That jingle, jangle, jingle. yippee ki yay Mother, father. Me, 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 and Herbert songwriters. We didn't want to brag, but yeah, we're coming out with our first album. It's called uh, "I Gave Her the Ring, She Gave Me the Finger." <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how to follow that up because when I make it up as I go, you can kind of tell. And her, uh, uh, Billy is our bassist, I guess. We are publicist. No, we're not getting famous. He's too busy laughing and playing with sound effects to make us famous, Herb. We need to re <clears throat> rethink this. Steve Nealon's our manager. He won't admit it because, you know, that's association. And, uh, yeah, there's that. Yeah, and the name of the, the name of the group. There we or go. A band or whatever is the choking chicken chasers. <laughs> <laughs> choking chicken chickers. 
Yeah. 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 Yep. And as you can see, we do not discriminate against the special needs. And here we go. Thank you, then appreciate you, Mom. And Mom, you don't want my back done. No. Nope. Does uh, we got any comments or questions coming in? No. Nope. nope. Max says last one of says was Max saying good night, Shay. It bothers me that I can't do her dang laugh. Well, I can hear I, I can hear it in my head, but I can't imitate it. I can't go that quick between the <laughs> It's similar to <laughs> I just can't do it that quick. I need to get me another cat five cable. My uh, god. Another what? Another cat five cable. Oh. Got one to one laptop and uh, the other stuff, but I ain't got one to this laptop. What? And it keeps buffing. What? You anything, Billy? Oh, there's my answer. I thought Herb might fall for it, but he didn't. What? Hush. <laughs> I was just talk, advertising how sweet we are, and I just told you to hush. But hey, huh? We're an acquired taste. He said he thinks he knows you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, blab it. I love this show. She probably does. <laughs> Two hours, 16 minutes, and 30 seconds. Oh, we're slacking. No, we've been sitting here being uh Oh wow, it just went from nine to seven. Well, not a bad sense of humor. And that and they, they or know they, they were had, expecting more humor than they're getting. Or or better humor, yeah. Um they don't realize well they probably know that because this is a twelve hour live stream they got time to come back. My panel didn't even know this was a twelve hour live stream. <clears throat> You're right. <laughs> And uh, I didn't even know it was till right when I said that. So uh, y'all don't hold me to it. It's not oh no ever. no 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 no! You done said it. You done put it out on the air. Okay, now if, if I commit to that, y'all got to stay here the whole time. Sleep be damn. I might be here, but I uh, I'll be over in the chair. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, if I got to be awake and alert, y'all have to be awake and alert. So, like I said. We don't know how long it'll last, but it'll damn sure probably won't be 12 hours. But I have done 11 hours, 40-something minutes before. Just saying. I believe that was Spider-Man. I could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been so long, I can't remember. Someday you'll see that Spider-Man on my website uh, for as uh, a finished piece for sale. But the, the pattern's available, and uh, you can also see it on one of my past live streams. Or m more than one, because <laughs> I don't get them done in one. Billy, were you were you on John's show earlier when I played the audio of me talking to Willie Nelson? No. Dang, nabbit. I don't have it on this laptop, so, but yeah. Ask him if we care. I was in my early 20s. Do you care? Nope. I think you do. Mm, maybe. <laughs> See, the truth comes out, by God. Oh. But yes, I got to meet Willie Nelson uh audio i didn't i didn't meet him in person i was talking to him over the phone on the radio station was it I live wondered, or was it memorex it was live the memorex was the recording of it but yeah because i knew nobody believed me but i lost it on, on an old computer my brother still had it so that was cool that's why you always got to back up your stuff yeah i uh for those that don't know the story, like Billy, I called into the radio station saying, I don't mean to open up a can of worms because I wanted to send a uh, a cutting of Willie to Willie. And Willie being Willie said, you want to send me a can of worms? And, you know, ha, ha, ha. I said, uh, you know, I just wonder if there was a way to get something to you without you having to give out your address. <laughs> you know, because, you know, this is before people use the Internet for stuff. Anyway. 
And uh, the DJ said, send it to me, Charles, and I'll make sure uh, he gets it. And he never did because they were moving studios and it got lost. But I could still do that if, eventually. But yeah, uh, but Bob Cole was the name of the uh, DJ and he showed him the a picture of it. Uh, and he said, oh, wow, or something like that. I don't remember the exact words. Well, that would be awesome. But it was an honor to get to talk to him. I never got to meet him in person, though. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's a shame you never got it. Yeah. And that wasn't my best work. That was my very first <laughs> Willie, and it was one of my earliest patterns. My very first Willie pattern, it was in the shape of Texas, I believe. But I, I have much more detailed pictures of him, patterns of him now that I can do. I had one. I don't know what the hell I did with it. It might be in my little loft here, my attic of my shop, which I forgot to show on the tour because it's way up there. But it used to be a loft, but I closed it in and treated it like an attic, so I had more floor space up there. I got way more space in the lo uh, attic area of this shop than I do on the floor. Just yep. saying. I have pieces up there that were broken and need repaired, and I just got them out of my way, blah, 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 blah. And here we are. And we appreciate you. Show enough. That's Bruce. what my, makes me frustrated, you know. Before the stroke, I mean, I could remember basically everything, but Jack, with some of these programs, I got to go watch the tutorial five to ten different times. I have to, I have to do each step as they say it, and sometimes rewind it three or four times because they're saying it so quick. And which that's sometimes on the tutor is they're saying it so quick. But uh, it, I, it, I, I get so confused and so overwhelmed so easily, and so that can be frustrating for some people. Steve yeah. Nealon's had to deal with my, that confusion. Shaley's had to deal with it. <laughs> All kinds of people. Here's anyway. what's funny. You know, I was born and raised in Texas, right? Yeah, sure. But some of these people talk so fast, you can't understand them. But there's a guy that's in London that has been a great big help to help me understand this. He, you know, he's got the thick accent, but he talks slow enough I can completely understand them. That's cool. You know, one famous person that talks real fast is Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. He talks real fast. I think he even makes fun of himself for talking so fast. I know there's another uh, guy out here that's uh, <clears throat> Davies Media Design or something like that. He mm -hmm. talks so fast. That, oh, whoa, whoa, man. Do I need to put this in slow mo? <laughs> it's actually kind of hard for me to talk fast because if I'm doing that to be funny, I have to think of something just randomly as I'm talking. <laughs> So I can move on to another topic, you know, I'll just kind of start. And sometimes I think I talk real fast, but I don't know, because sometimes I talk too fast and sometimes I don't. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just work with it. And other times people say, you know, you really need to get a job, get a hobby. But you know, I say, I don't know. What? See? Don't make repeat that. I was thinking as uh -huh. I went. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all's IQ points dropped two points while well, y'all was listening to that. Uh, we weren't listening. Max said, well, it's my turn to say good night. Y'all have a great night. Th thanks for the stream, Charles. Scroll on. You're welcome. Have a good night, Mac. Good Take night. care, Mac. Good night, sweetheart. <clears throat> it's time to go. Then you get these people that put out tutorials that don't say nothing. Hey, Amen. We've talked about that, too. Jesus. Don't, don't call it how-to if you're just going to show us you're doing it. Because some people learn by audio instruction as well as watching. You're like, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? What made you make that decision? And I I may not be the, the, the teacher of all teachers, but on my <coughs> instructional videos of how to make patterns, you hear every thought I have when I change my mind, why I change my mind, and sometimes I don't even know, but I try to be very thorough, very thorough when I teach. I'm not saying I'm a good teacher, but I try. You know, if you're least not, not going to talk, Put some text on the screen to tell people what you're doing. Yep. But, Bye, guys. And uh, I don't you know, know if JJ. Or, go ahead. Or, you know, at least, you know, full screen it while you're recording your desktop where you, you can see what you're doing. 
Yep. But yeah, I mean, especially on com computer programs, you'll think that they'll just jump over to something on the toolbar and click it and go down to something. It's like, tell us what you're clicking on, why you're clicking on it, and what that tool does, blah, blah, bull stank. It's like, you should not tell people this. See, I downloaded this deal, this third-party app because Microsoft will not recognize this mouse. Even though it's a Microsoft mouse, it still won't recognize it. But I'm trying to get this back button to uh, to do another function, and it's just driving me crazy trying to figure it out. Steve said he tries not to teach. <clears throat> I, I don't know that I try to teach, but I... <clears throat> yeah, I guess I really kind of do because <clears throat> I, I just try to share what I know, what I've learned from experience, good, bad, ugly, and different. Uh, and I spent enough years in education that it's just kind of second nature to me. I can't help myself. Yeah. But I, one of my viewers commented today, uh, he said, I've watched almost all of your videos now. He said, uh, you taught me how to use a skew. He said, I now own three, and I love them. Even and on that, that, oh, sorry, I thought you were And done. the SKUs are a relatively tricky tool to, to, to learn, and that that kind of makes you feel a little good. Yeah, it makes all that effort seem worth it, too. I uh, Even on the video I did that wasn't woodworking, I was teaching people how to get a brown, flaky longhorn horn uh, to look shiny and new and blah, 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 bull stank. Uh, and people complimented me how thorough I was with it. I said, I appreciate that's what I'm going for when I teach. Sometimes I'm too thorough, but I don't think there's such a thing. Just saying. <laughs> Steve said, Billy, you were a teacher. It's different. <laughs> now, uh, I can't speak for Steve Nealon, but I'm pretty sure he's been frustrated by. Now, he may not have been. I'm not putting words in his mouth, but uh, he's had to dumb down stuff for me because he'll tell me something i'll kind of go huh you know <laughs> he had to train me twice to how to upload my portion my portion of uploading stuff to the website because i went so long without doing it i forgot everything he taught me so i asked him if i could record the hangout to refer back to and i haven't had to refer back to it thank god but here we are chris Nealon said skew is great to open paint cans with oh <laughs> well i actually <laughs> liked them and used them a lot Nice. Hello, Chris Neal. I didn't know you were still here, sir. I, it, it, and when people offer to teach me something, I'll tell them, you, God love you, but you have to be patient because as, as the harder I try to understand is usually when I, I, I'm overthinking it sometimes or underthinking it, but most times I'm overthinking and I can get confused when they're trying to tell me something. And it's just, it's frustrating as hell. I don't think I'm dumb. I just, I'm limited. I'm, it, I, I just, yeah, it just, yeah, it's very frustrating. <laughs> All right. My panel's dead quiet. I don't even know if they're still. Chris Neela said, I'm not still here. I came back. LOL. Oh, okay. Well, appreciate you being here, sir. I'm still here. I was just talking to the boss. No. Uh, Seems like watching your sh your sh little years and John show. I've learned a lot. That's good to know. So, I don't know that, I, and I'm not minimizing your compliment, but I don't know that I've taught a whole lot. I could be wrong. I tend to have to resort to being asked, but to think of everything. But go, yeah. But yeah, well, I try to teach. It's taught me that I know I sure ain't doing no billboards. <laughs> well. <I thank>, you. <laughs> Steve said, I'm not a good teacher. I do most stuff without thinking directly about it. And that's why I have trouble teaching unless I get a question, because I can't think of everything that a beginner would ask. Uh, but Steve, he he let me record him because maybe that's why, because maybe he wasn't outright teaching, but he just told me the process, and I just did step by step till I till it was second nature of how to do it. But even then, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> But I'm glad at least one thing Herb learned from me was not to cut billboards. Yay. Not how to have a 
All I thought you like, already cut that hole. No. No, I uh, just threw that out there as a joke, Charles. I, I know, I know her, uh, and Billy. I wouldn't. Have, God love you. I wouldn't have cut it if I hadn't already. Cut, if I had already cut it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few little holes like that. You're probably thinking of that one. It was similar in size and shape. But then I cut that one. Yeah. Oh, I thought I'm it was to, connected to that other one. Nope. And I'm about to cut a different one, then a different one, then a different one, then a different one, then a different one. Okay. Because okay, I wasn't sure how many more times I could say that. Because we could have been here a while if I had pointed every damn one I was going to be cutting. But here we are. Makes me look at the detail more. Yeah, there, there's times when I'm cutting on something or even working on a really detailed pattern. I can tell you what song was playing on the radio while I was working on it because that's how long it takes me to do some of this crap. Yeah. And as far as anybody cares about uh, fr fragility, I think that's the word, how fragile something is. And this whole piece, the only part I think is fragile besides in here is uh, this area is going to flop a little bit, but I don't think it'll be dangerous unless you're using crappy wood. <laughs> I'm good. So we do have so, so some some parts of that are gonna be Italian. Uh there's a joke coming, but I don't I can't figure out the pinch put pinch line. Fragile. Okay, yeah, fragile. Some of my patterns are fragile. Okay, most of them. <laughs> but I do have a couple that I consider simple, but you know. <laughs> Yeah. Simple in that they don't have 5,203 cuts. Not that I'm counting. Don't start that. Sorry, I was stretching my face. I'm not getting sleepy. I stay sleepy. I was sleepy when I started this damn thing. You know, I may actually get to sleep by myself tonight. Well, in my house, I don't call that getting to sleep by myself. I, I, I thought you slept by yourself every night there, Herbie. No. Uh, last couple of nights since this cat showed up, she's been sleeping in here with me. Oh. Now, in my house, I call it getting stuck sleeping by myself because, you know, I'm married. Well, I'd much rather be sleeping upstairs with the wife, but I can't lay in that bed flat. It drives me to crazy. Seen before the stroke, laying flat never bothered me. I, I all my life I cannot sleep on more than one pillow. If my pillow is too puffy, I get what I call a neck headache. It starts out like a crick in my neck and goes up the back of my neck into my head, and I have a headache. And I've been that way all my life. I don't know what it is. I see other people, man. They got eighty thousand pillows and they're sleeping on a cloud, but I can't do it. No, I don't like that either. However, I am sleeping on two now, but I'm sleeping propped up at an angle, not so it's more under my back than under my just my head. Yep. Uh, upper back, shoulders. I remember my parents having feather pillows, and those things were all kinds of squished to hell. Good old water. goose down feather pillows. Yeah, and then those little quills stick out and jab you right in the cheek. Yeah, it's always fun. Or up your nose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't sleep where they can jab me up my nose. I don't sleep and on my I... belly. Yeah. If I sleep on my belly, I wake up choking on stomach acid. That's a high little hernia, too. Yeah, we used to have those as kids. And uh, after the pillow fight, one busted. Uh, <laughs> Mom said, never again. Yeah, but it was fun to see that little quill sticking out. You pull on it, and you get a nice little feather. And if you keep doing that a thousand times, mommy's thrilled. Yep, because the pillow goes flat. Why y'all keep bringing these chickens in the house? Huh? <laughs> well, Mom, we needed something to do. Yep. Spice some things up a little bit. Well, we've been here two hours, 34 minutes, and 10 seconds. Again, folks, I'm sorry for slacking. Are you getting tired? 
No, I was tired when I started, but no no more tired than usual, but not that y'all have to stay here. But if y'all end up leaving, I'll end up leaving, but only well, because it gets lonely. But we still got the, up to Billy. No, we still got Are you lonesome tonight? Because about the three hour mark, I was thinking about calling it quit. I can be talked into it. I'm only good for another hour and a half. We'll see how far we can go, folks. When we start these live streams, we never know how long they're going to last. But you can bet they're always over an hour and a half. Yeah, usually. Now, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I did too. I never know. <laughs> I never know right when I'm going to start getting tired because nine times out of ten, when I start getting tired more than I already am, it's sudden and it, it's like, oh, my God, I got to shake my head to say, well, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> But we're not to that point yet. So if I sound oh. like that, I'm just being goofy. Oh. Which never happens on this show, but. Oh, no. Surprise. You yeah, ate her. Cramp. Yeah. <clears throat> Oop, Shaylee lied. She Thanks. said, I sleep with one pillow and two down blankets and a faux fur comforter and a regular comforter. Well, yeah, that's because you ain't got any insulation, girl. <laughs> what he means is you're not chunky like the rest of us. But. I like Shelly. It's time to take a pill. I like you fellas too, but she's prettier and sweeter. Well, um, we can't all be that way. Yeah, well, that's, that's why Shaylee got lucky there. She did tell me once, if you're the last guy on earth, I'll consider it. So, there is a chance. But she didn't want in her proudest moment, I don't think. Right now, she's doing that laugh I can't imitate. <laughs> Come on, Cletus. It's probably over at the, uh, chucking that sandwich she made. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> I can sort of imitate Billy. <laughs> can you imitate this one there, Chucky? You bet you had that can. I what didn't the... think so. I didn't either. What in the blue blazing Sam the hell going on here tonight? Hello, David. Hello, Hello Mr. David. Portel Woodwell. Are you certified from what you call it? Uh 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 Virginia. That was the last I, time I'm, he was there. Not that I was I'm, paying attention. I'm, I'm certifiable. Does that count? Yes, sir. He was going I believe he was going to Langley to Virginia to get recertified on something. Or just certified. How'd that go? I was paying attention last time you here. That was what you said as you were leaving. And we appreciate you. Oh, okay, I'm glad you did. Yeah. Okay, boss. I think what I'm going to do when I get done with this area here, we're going to end this here live stream. What? And it's not that I mean, folks. Herb just likes to say what. And if I fall for it, I get made fun of. Blah, 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 blah. He gets a flabbergasted that it didn't fail. And, unless he says, I, I really didn't hear you. Then I'll repeat it. But now he's going to start doing that. Nothing. I really didn't hear you. <laughs> he said no. yes, and I'll be headed home tomorrow morning. Good deal. Congratulations, sir. Good job, David. We're proud of you, sir. Great job. Shaley said, I look like, <clears throat> she said she looks like she's in her cocoon. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nope. Pure comfort, baby. Whatever helps you sleep. Oh. It's hard for me to get comfortable with my sideways issue, but go ahead, Herb. Oh, I would just... Oh, no, I didn't want that. I hear that a lot, too. <laughs> Sorry. Our good friend has a tutorial coming out. 
Which good friend? Did the uh, Dennis at Wooden? Oh, what then? Dennis. Dennis de Perron. De de Perron. Wood Den. All one word. Is his channel? Tutorial of what? I don't know. It just popped up and it slid across, and uh, before I got to it, it disappeared, and I can't get it back up. Well, poop. I have that problem a lot oh. too. No, I don't. I'm kidding. He's got a a skull coming out of the wall. Dude. You mean like a scroll top piece? Yeah. Let me put on my other headset now. Watch it. Okay. I guess he's back at the saw. Unless he's replaying old videos or something. I don't know. For those who don't know, he had a heart attack on Halloween. David said, I'm a federal government employee again. Nice. Proud of you, sir. Congratulations. What a gents he there, David. I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Sorry. That sounds like something he'd say. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Good no. friend of mine here locally is a FBI agent. He tells me that regularly. Yeah, I have a uh, uh, old army buddy of my dad's works at the Pentagon. Or at least used to. I don't remember now. It's been a while. Yep, we have six people watching. If you got any comments, questions, John, come on out there. And we appreciate you. Show sure enough. The voices you're hearing, at least right now, are me and Billy Burt Sr., which is MedStudio.net, not dot com. Okay, and, boss. Hot and, and, and her prepare. <laughs> Welcome back, Herbie. Herbie is our little friend over there. We are all Mexicans. Billy Bert is in San Antonio. And, oh, uh, cool, David. He said DEA. Nice. Well, I'm clean if you want to come frisk me, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Billy Bert's in San Antonio. Uh, uh, Herb is uh, across the street from Fort Worth. He said that's I'm, all I'm going to say about that. By God, and I am uh, in Gatesville, Texas, 45 minutes southwest of Waco. So if you want to stalk me or send me money, feel free to ask for my address. I prefer the latter. Don't let him kid you, folks. He really likes being stalked. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> and that's when it all started. I got a singing telegram. Do I do 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 do? And that was, that was the last word she said, Your Honor. <laughs> it's kind of starting to look a little bit like a German Shepherd now, so I'm a little relieved. Of course, I know when the pattern started, it looked David, like a German Shepherd. Go ahead. David said, uh, No thanks on the frisking, Charles. All right. Just know I offered. I want that on the record. I guess the cavity search is out. Damn it. What? <laughs> That's that whole comedy thing. It's what I do here. Or attempted comedy. Every now and then, like right this moment, there's no way for me to say say this without sounding arrogant. But just looking at this piece right now, I'm thinking that, that's kind of a badass design. Thank you. And I'm not fishing for compliments. It's just one of those looking at it on the camera. It looks kind of 
Kind of nifty. Just saying. It's not very often that I feel that way. Just saying. Back to you, Billy. Billy, do you, do you want to press me? Negative. Okay, he thought about it. Herb? Mm, not this lifetime. Okay, what about the next one? We'll see. Steve Nealon, I know I can count on you, buddy. Right, old buddy, old pal? Redirect, redirect, warning, warning. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, thought it was funny. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> and you said that after he typed, it is a cool design, Charlie. Not much Thanks. telling what he's going to come up with now. Yeah, well, but I want it on record. Mark the time. He complimented me. I'm kidding. He does it every now and then. <laughs> Thank you, uh, sir. <laughs> You know, we joke a lot about Steve Nealon redirecting us if we upset him, but I don't know that he would do that. I mean, I know he's done it in jest to another person. I don't know if I should bring up, but uh, it was in jest, and uh, I don't think he's that petty. But, you know, why, why test the waters? And I think that's where me and Billy stand. <laughs> it, you know, it, if you don't want to take the chance, just suck up, by God. You know what when I mean? When in doubt, don't do it. Yeah. That didn't help my marriage, but uh, me and Billy have said publicly on air, we love Steve. I, I have, because. Yeah, but I mean it. <laughs> All right. Well, well, you win the suck up award. Just saying. But did you write to him today and tell him he looked dashing? I did. You're welcome. He said, and I won't redirect, but that picture can become your main web page. <laughs> <laughs> He might be referring to the brassiere. And I will not confirm that that was me because there's no face showing. Unless you watch the rest of the video. But it could have been a stand-in. Not with that beard. Are you implying I have a uniquely ratty beard, sir? Yes. You're an asshole. <laughs> what? He said he thinks he knows you. Oh. I'm a... I'm going to start saying that every time Herb says what. You're welcome. <laughs> no, Come you're on. welcome. Come on, Stas. <laughs> Same to you, sir. Come on. Estas? Que? Nada. Okay. Yeah. No, you're welcome. <laughs> Would you Who's like dead? my burritos? I'm sorry, I'm multitasking again. That never happens on this show. Weren't you watching uh, Dennis's video? Yeah, he's looking good. He's lost. You can tell he's lost a bunch of weight. Well, that's cool. Sometimes it takes a health care to make us lose weight. It might be what it takes for me. If they ever tell me, boy, oh, you got to stop drinking Dr. Pepper, I'll be a depressed son of a ding ding. But uh, that's where my weight's coming from, just saying. And I used to be more active outdoors to get stuff done, but yeah, that's been limited. And we got five folks watching. We appreciate you. If you got any cam into questions, chunk them on out there. We appreciate you. I said appreciate you twice because I appreciate you that much. I appreciate you. Pally, do you appreciate these five viewers, sir? Billy's multitasking. Uh-huh. <laughs> you hear that emotion? Oh, there's some people we know. <laughs> what you talking about? What? They think she knows you, but seriously, whatever are you talking about? A couple of other people we know that totally didn't make any sense to oh, me. Yeah, I just throwing it out there. All Time right. Use you. That ain't hard to do, sir. I don't know if you knew that. I'm glad story, I could help. Story night. I'm not looking forward to these Arctic temperatures coming up. No, I ain't either. But I will still scroll naked and set myself on fire. You're welcome. 
or at least one of the two. When the oh, yeah. Weather, when the cold weather hits me, boy, I go into spaz mode. Was, was that a twang? That was one of my uh, lathe tools falling off the magnet I was pointing out earlier. Oh. It's now on the floor. Did it scare you? Yes, sir. That's why I said, holy, whatever I said. I don't remember what I said now because the trauma still has me shook up. I'm kidding. At least it would. <laughs> Shebangy, yeah. That's traumatic. There wouldn't have been no shebanging. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I would have shebanged it in my pants. <laughs> Again. Oh, uh, hush. <laughs> I'm still recovering from the last time. He'll be squish squashing through the daisies. Yep. Because we know you don't have no tulips in your yard. Because it only filled up one boot, so it's clop, squish, clop, squish, clop, squish. You're welcome. Oh. Y'all never have to guess visuals here, because I'll describe it in very livid detail. Uh, not livid deep. Just vivid. detail. Yeah, or lurid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, vivid. That sounds like a good word. Because it's accurate. Yep. <sighs> Got to do that obligatory uh, camera crane bump every now and then. There we go. Yep, now I believe uh, Herb and Billy are both multitasking, so I'll be taking over the show. Oh. Okay. Watching TV, I guess. What? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I'm he just thinks... it muted so it doesn't bother you. Okay. He thinks he knows you, Herb. Oh, okay. Well, crap, Ola. What? Camera. Well, wow, that kind of sucks. Nothing wrong with your computers, folks. I'm unplugging my camera. Blah blah bull stank. And uh, he thinks he knows me. <laughs> Hopefully, that cleared it up. If not, it takes a bit sometimes. <laughs> No choking allowed. It hadn't yet. All right. Well, if it doesn't, we'll end the live stream. Okay, folks. That's going to end it anyway. We're down to four viewers. But we appreciate Steve Neal and, and David Jones for dropping by and whoever else is still here. The other two people. Shelly might be nice there. But what was that? I said, now it's cleared up. Well, good. It's just in time CEO can see his point. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, we appreciate y'all dropping by. If you're not already, please consider subscribing and uh, click on that bell and, uh, and, 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 and then the word all. And you'll never miss one of these live streams. And the reason why they're pointing is because they want to say, scroll on. Scroll on. Have a good night. Scroll on.